I'm old news to the press, dude in the flesh. Y'all make moves on the net. I cut that loose on the jet. Trans what I said. Left my hands on the quest, and I came back gems in the chest. Net for the net. Learned that Jew from a deck. Taught me young to expect funds come from requests. No gets more than a yes. No doors close to the best. I'm always next. I'm a show proof, I was never gonna lose, yeah, already knew. I'm a show proof, I was never gonna lose, yeah, already knew. Good evening, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Yeah, we are live here at Mustang High School for Bronco Soccer. Brought to you, as always, by Oklahoma City FC. You can go to OklahomaCityFC.com for tickets, where season and individual game tickets are on sale now. And tonight, it is senior night, as the Mustang Broncos are getting set to take on the Putnam City West Patriots. Welcome in, everybody. I'm voice of the Broncos, Ryan Booth. It is so good to be with you here on what is absolutely a Chamber of Commerce Day here in Mustang. So our KFOR forewarn game time forecast here in, in Mustang right now. Just absolutely beautiful. So light winds coming straight out of the south. Temperature right about 75, 76 degrees. And again, that wind out of the south, it'll get up and go a little bit on us at times. But right now, according to KFOR, wind straight out of the south at about 15 miles an hour, gusting at times up to 24. So we'll see if that has any effect on tonight's, ga tonight's games as we get going. But again, we appreciate KFOR being our game time forecast provider and right now this is <coughs> part of me this is the classic chevrolet pregame show classic chevrolet located at 8900 northwest expressway is the premier chevy dealership in okc a new name but longtime sponsor of bronco soccer is classic chevrolet at classic chevrolet you can relax and enjoy the difference this is OKC. This is classic. So, again, just about, oh, just a couple minutes, actually, until we get things started here in our girls' game. So, the Mustang girls come into tonight's game 5-5 five and five overall, 3-1 and one in district play, tied with Edmund Santa Fe, who Mustang beat last time we were live with you here on MHS Broncosports.tv. So, and then they've got this one here against Putnam City West tonight. Putnam City West, well, they're in a, a little bit of a, a downward trend. They come in the losers of their last two. They're four and seven overall. Two and two, which is actually good enough for, you could say, third place. They're tied with Bishop McGinnis in the district standings. But they, they had run off. Well, let's see here, three, six losses in a row before they met up with Lawton. They did win that game 10 nothing, but Lawton, that's really kind of what everybody is doing to Lawton, unfortunately, for the Wolverines. Mustangs match up against Lawton. It was a 12-0 victory for the girls. So, again, Mustang, if you look at it on paper, should have this one in hand, but, you know, that's why we play the games. We've seen crazier things happen so take a quick look real while well, we've got a second at the boys matchup tonight coach homer and the guys 10 and 2 on the season 3 and 1 in district play they're tied for second place in districts one game behind the leader edmund north who is still undefeated in district play putnam city west 9 and 3 and just a game behind mustang they're 2 and 2 tied with Capitol Hill. So a big game in the district standings on the guys' side here tonight as well. So should be two outstanding games. Looking forward to bringing you all of the action here live from Mustang High School. Again, Broncos soccer brought to you by Oklahoma City FC, where all their home games are played right here at the Mustang Broncos soccer complex. 
So, again, you can go online to OklahomaCityFC.com for tickets. We'll take our first time out of the evening. We'll be back with the starting lineups and all of tonight's action. Again, you're watching Broncos Soccer live on MHS Broncosports.tv. OKC, years in the making. The all-new classic Chevrolet Northwest Expressway is finally here. Family owned and operated. Shop new Silverados. A massive 7,500 off MSRP. From the stockyards to Bricktown, Paseo Arts to Midtown. Upgrade to a new Silverado. 7,500 off at the all-new classic Chevrolet Northwest Expressway. This is OKC. This is classic. Relax and enjoy the difference. I understand that. Back with you here in Mustang, ladies and gentlemen, as the starters are being introduced first for Putnam City West. So starting today for the Patriots, be number 15, Mejia, 22, Ibarra, 19, Aguilar, 20, Ochoa, 14, Buzz, 25, Borojas, 4, Vasquez, 7, Lopez, number 10, Naranjo, 21, Garcia, and the keeper tonight will be number 0, Houston. So that's the way Putnam City West will take the field. And now the starting lineups for your Mustang Broncos. Again, Mustang comes into tonight's game 5-5 five and five overall, 3-1 and one in district play. So getting the start tonight between the pipes will be the senior, number zero, Matty Bullard. At forward, number two, London Hagen. Another forward, number four, Sophia C. Defender, number eight, Emily Brown. Midfielder, number 10, Addie Jordan. And midfielder, number 14, Jarelli Pando. Defender, number 15, Maddie Hedgecock. Another defender, number 17, Olivia Fairchild. At midfield, number 19, Kyrie Soto. Defender, number 20, Jana McCool. And rounding out the starting 11 for Mustang will be midfielder number 22, Aub Aubrey Tajmir. So, again, it'll be Bullard, Hagen, C, Brown, Jordan, Pando, Hedgecock, Fairchild, Soto, McCool, and Tajmir getting the start here for Mustang. So there's the starting lineups. We'll take another timeout and be back with the start of tonight's game. Again, Mustang and Putnam City West coming up next. OU Health ER and Urgent Care is now open with two convenient locations in both South Oklahoma City and Yukon. You get the convenience of an urgent care and all the expertise of an ER under one roof, and you only pay for the level of care you need. To learn more, visit www.ouhealth.com slash one roof. In network with most major insurance providers, including Medicare and Medicaid. Oki Print Barn is a proud sponsor of Mustang Athletics. For the best in custom apparel, contact Oki Print Barn today. Oki Print Barn, your hometown screen printer located on Highway 152 in Mustang. Let's go Broncos! Our mission here at Oral Surgery Specialists of Oklahoma is to provide exceptional care to our patients in a warm and welcoming environment. We enjoy creating an exceptional experience for our patients with belief in patient education, careful listening, and customized treatment planning. Here at Oral Surgery Specialists of Oklahoma, we uniquely offer a full scope of oral surgery and periodontal services under one roof, including dental implant placement, wisdom teeth removal, gum grafting, and jaw surgery. We love what we do here, and we look forward to the opportunity to be able to care for our patients and provide exceptional oral surgery and periodontal surgery. Joe Cooper Ford has three Ford dealerships around the metro to serve Oklahoma better than anyone else. 
What does having three of the best Ford dealerships in the state mean for you? It means three times the selection and three times the savings. And that's three times the service. And Joe guarantees to beat any price in Oklahoma by $500 or he'll give you $10,000. That's why Joe beats the competition three to one. Who loves Joe, Oklahoma? I'm old news to the press, dude in the flesh. Y'all make moves on the net. I cut that loose on the jet. Trans what I set. Left my hands on the quest, and I came back gems in the chest. Net for the net. Learned that jewel from a deck. Taught me young to expect funds come from request. No gets more than a yes. No doors close to the best. I'm always next. I'm a show proof, I was never going to lose. Yeah, already. Once again, welcome back to Mustang, ladies and gentlemen. And there you see the Mustang High School JROTC, the Bronco Battalion, as they retire the colors here tonight at Bronco Stadium. Again, they do an outstanding job and just in incredible representatives of Mustang High School. So we appreciate them. But again, Glad to be with you here live on MHSBroncosports.tv as Mustang getting set to take on Putnam City West. So this has been the Classic Chevrolet pregame show. Classic Chevrolet located at 8900 Northwest Expressway, the premier Chevy dealer in OKC. And don't forget Bronco Soccer, as always, brought to you by Oklahoma City FC. So tonight's game ball sponsors of the game – so is Classic Chevrolet, Lily and Dorian Jimenez, owners and operators of Classic Chevrolet, located again at 8900 Northwest Expressway. We appreciate them being longtime sponsors of Mustang Bronco Athletics. So again, new name, same great service at Classic Chevrolet, where you can relax and enjoy the difference. This is OKC. This is Classic. So... There you can see the presentation of tonight's game ball taking place there at midfield, and we are just about ready to get this one underway. Again, just an absolutely incredible day here weather-wise. Again, our KFOR forewarned for game time forecast. So 70, 75 degrees now. Again, wind out of the south. 10 to 12 miles, gusting at times, up over 20 miles an hour. But, hey, this time of the year, when the wind wants to kind of do like that, hey, we will go ahead and take it because, as we know, just a few days ago, we are having sustained winds out here in Mustang, well over 30, near 40 miles an hour. So, again, we will take days like today when we can get it. That is 100% for sure. And there you see the girls making their way out onto the field. Just about ready to get this one underway for Mustang. Last time out, it was a 12-0 win down at Lawton. So before that, it was our last broadcast with you here on MHS Broncosports.tv. It was a 2-1 win, a dramatic win over Edmund Santa Fe. As Kyrie Soto broke the 1-1 tie with just about a minute left in the game. As she headed one in off a beautiful corner kick and great little cross. And, and Kyrie put that one in the back of the net. And Mustang got away with the 2-1 win in dramatic fashion over Edmund Santa Fe. So looking, looking again to try and keep pace with Edmund North at 4-0 undefeated in district play. So a big one here for Mustang. If Putnam City West can get this one, well, they'll actually jump up into a tie with Santa Fe and Mustang. Mustang holding the tiebreaker over Santa Fe. There we just had our first Oki Print Barn Mustang Bronco throw-in. Visit Oki Print Barn at 633 East State Highway 152 here in Mustang for all your Bronco gear to see how they can help you with custom apparel needs. For more information, visit, visit them online at okiprintbarn.com. West with it in the middle of the field. Move it over there and then getting able to take that one away right there in front of the net. An opportunity 
But great job by the keeper, by Houston, Hannah Houston. So that was an oral surgery specialist of Oklahoma. Broncos shot on goal. Visit OklahomaCityOralSurgery.com to learn how they can help you with all of your oral surgery needs. So you saw Pando getting loose kind of right there in the middle, but nice job by Houston for West to come out and challenge challenge Pando right there. Down deep, that one goes out. West will be throwing in on the far side quickly. The Patriots get it back in. Volley it around a little bit before, before it's taken away. Brown gets a boot on that one, sends it down deep. Giving chase there on the far side. Another opportunity for Mustang and then just flipping this one up and over everything. Again, another good look at it for Girelli, but Pando unable to put that one in the back of the net. Had a step on the defender. Again, just got underneath that one a little bit and sent it up and over everything. So West set to put the ball back into play. Again, Mustang in possession down deep. One knocked around a little bit, and West comes away with it. Brown wins it right back. Great touch by Soto to Pando, but couldn't return the favor. But Kyrie comes in and takes that one away. Now Tajmir has it. Again, Mustang. Mustang going to be awarded a free kick. I think a little bit of a late whistle. Thought maybe there was a handball, and then the official processed what he saw, and, yeah, whistles. So and he's going to mark off the steps so Wes knows where they can line up at. And we will go from there. That one, good look at it, but again, sails high over the top of everything. So another oral surgery specialist of Oklahoma shot on goal goes by the wayside. So again, a couple opportunities here for Mustang. You like to see that. Again, attacking, putting the pressure on West, making them make plays, looking for some breakdowns defensively by the Patriots that they've taken advantage of a couple times but not able to completely cash those in. Hagan had it, now Brown with it. Brown will send it over to Fairchild on the far side, and then Mustang will continue to work it down in. To get that one back in, a C on the far side. Sophia has it once again. Now she's going to cross it towards the middle and just off the post. And again, just winding up and maybe just a little bit too much on it for Soto. And so a couple oral surgery specialists of Oklahoma shots on goal right there. Great look for C. And, man, she tried to sneak that one. Trying to bend that one around the near side post, but just couldn't quite get it to hook enough. But again, nice job on the rebound by Soto to take another look at it. So again, really four good opportunities for Mustang. You know, continue to pressure. And they're gonna cash in on a number of those. Now it goes in down deep and trying to turn on that one was Hagen, but just couldn't quite get behind it enough to really challenge Houston. So she scoops that one up. Houston's going to send it back out. And for the first time in a very long time, West crosses midfield with it, but they're content to just send it right over. Hedgecock had it for a second, but then hustling down for West was well, number 10, Kimberly Naranjo. Yeah, Naranjo. And again, a quick Oki Print Barn throw in for Mustang. And again, Pando has it now off the great pass up by Hagen. Pando trying to get some room to operate. She sends it back out. Tajmir has it. Tajmir tied up but able to keep it. And then again, looking for Pando to sink to the corner. Jarelli didn't go. And that one rolls.
rolls out of bounds harmlessly. It'll be a throw in for Putnam City West. Flips that one up. Working it down the sideline. And again, taken away right there by Hagen. She sends that one in. Rebounds off Houston, the keeper. She can't control it. It comes back out. Pando fought for it. It's going to be last touch by Mustang. So, again, that's four, maybe five actual shots on goal here in the first half. So, corner kick coming up. All Bronco corner kicks brought to you by OU Health ER and Urgent Care, where they combine a full service Urgent care and ER services all under one roof to best serve you and your family. That one sent in deep and headed right back. But, man, Houston had it played well. She didn't have to move at all as that one winds up right in her lap. <laughs> Another oral surgery specialist of Oklahoma shot on goal. And, again, West trying to clear it out. Just gives it right back to Mustang. This one up again. Houston slaps that one. And comes away with it. So Houston has has been under fire a lot here in the first eight minutes or so of this one, but Mustang not able to get through to put points on the board, but they are going to continue to just pound it in there, just a barrage. And then that one oh, sneaks by across the goal into the back of the net, put it on the board. Goal, Broncos. Probably the softest of all the shots Houston has had come at her. But that one just kind of bounced around, ricocheted off Houston a time or two, and then had just enough on it to crawl across the goal line. So Mustang gets the first one here at 32-01. That one breaks the nil-nil tie, and we'll get we'll get another look at it. See, I believe it's Pando. So, number 14, Jarelli Pando. Yeah, so Pando gets that. Oral surgery specialist of Oklahoma goal. We've had a ton of oral surgery specialists of Oklahoma shots on goal. Great challenge out there by Addie Jordan. And that one headed back. Soto gets it there towards the middle of the field. Brown pushes it forward. C has it. C looks to go to work, snakes her way through, and again just tried to send that one in. But an oral surgery specialist of Oklahoma shot on goal. And again, Houston, the only thing, I mean, she's done a great job. She's under fire all night long already here in the first 10 minutes. She's only let one in. And that one headed back, but just wide. So a great look at it. Pando has had a number of opportunities. She's going to get one to go sooner than later. That is for sure. But Houston, when she's got the goal kick, when she goes to send it back out, just doesn't really get a lot on it. Now, again, she's kicking it right into that wind. That is, again, coming right at her face. So that's got a little something to do with it. There you can see you want to keep that ball low and try to drive it down through the wind. Giving chase. Can she get there? Yep, able to save it. Mustang with possession. Tajmir, again, great job to give chase. And then an extremely late whistle calling it out of bounds. Tajmir had sent it back in, and I'm not sure who she'd gotten it to. I think maybe it was Hedgecock. Hedgecock had sent it up, was trying to get it to Jordan, and then the, the assistant there on the side blows the whistle. So, again, the ball had touched two or three other players after it had apparently gone out of bounds. So, C wins that one, still has it. She's challenged over there. Nice challenge on the far side by Boris. And then coming out to challenge was Houston. Dangerous territory. Is there on the far side? That one misses just wide. So, another... Oral surgery specialist of Oklahoma shot on goal for the Broncos. So 
So, again, another good look at it on that far side by C, but, again, just couldn't quite cut the angle on it. Again, that one sent out and comes right down to Soto. Now C has it. She is surrounded by Patriots. You can see she's frustrated as she's bumped and bumped. And then just, again, just trying to send that one in. See if maybe we get a rebound, a deflection, if something good can happen was Addie Jordan. But nobody home rolls out, and it'll be another goal kick for West. Again, it looks like they're going to let Lopez come in and take this one. As Lopez gets a little bit more on it, Brown had it, sent it in. And again, ball controlled by Mustang. They're on the far side. But that's Addie Jordan with it working down the sideline. She brings that one back to the middle. A little bit too much real estate trying to get that one to Soto. Kyrie was set up perfectly right in the middle of the box. But too much green for that ball to cover before it got to her. Now, great job. Poked away by Jordan. Hagen has it here on the near side. Hagen gets past the defender, sends it in to the middle, scoots past everybody, and then Brown, <laughs> Brown and Jordan both going for it, and they knock each other down. Again, the ball right in between three or four Mustang players, and everybody just kind of watched it, waiting for everybody else to go after it. Before Addie and Emily decided to try to take matters into their own hand, and they wound up tripping each other up. So again, another another opportunity for Mustang. And another positive is that really for only about the third, maybe fourth time tonight, West crosses midfield with possession of the ball. So Mustang obviously dominating possession percentage right now. Back and forth between a couple Patriots there on the far side before it's finally knocked away and the official thinks about it for a second it says it will be an Oki print barn throw in for Mustang but not before a couple subs are going to work themselves into the game get those two numbers for you as soon as we can it's like three and twelve three Maya Denson twelve Riley Stoffer. So keep an eye on Denson. I say it every time we're here, man. She she will go from sideline to sideline, inline to inline. She is she's like the Energizer Bunny. She is all over the place. So she is not afraid to get in there and mix it up. And then it's easy it's easy to spot her as she has got the electric pink boots on. This one sit down, and I think maybe for the first time today, Bullard gets her hands on the ball. As that one bounces in harmlessly. So Maddie has it. She'll send it down, uses the wind at her back to get it right up. Great touch by Hagen. Great control. C has it. She's going to work it around. Denson with it. Nice job to bring it back the other way. Soto has it up top. She's directing traffic. Tajmir with it. Hagen brings it back up top. Again, Mustang will send it in. But nobody on the other end of it. That one goes out. Big goal kick once again for West. 15 minutes gone by here in the first half. Mustang on top, 1 0. Again, trying to take advantage of a Putnam City West team that had struggled as of late. Again, lost six in a row. And in those six games, it only put three points on the board until they took on Lawton. And just kind of like everybody else this season, made short work of the Wolverines 10-0. Mustang defeated them 12-0. And then they got a big win at Capitol Hill, 4-1. That one off the bar. So a great shot attempt there by Mustang. 
Yeah, Mustang, Mustang winners of two straight. Again, that dramatic win in the final minute of that game here at home against Santa Fe to win two to one. And then, a, like I mentioned, a 12-0 win down at Lawton. So whistle and a foul just outside the box. So Mustang. Oh, nope, they're going to say it was out of bounds before West brought it back in. So that'll be an OU Health ER and Urgent Care corner kick for a location near you. And to check out all the services they provide, visit OUHealth.com. That's Denson over there set to send it in. Keeps it down low in that one. Wind kind of caught that one and just kind of kept pushing it, pushing it, and then it winds up there on the top shelf up on top of the goal. And Mustang, a number of opportunities here in the first 17 minutes of this one. The score could very easily be extremely lopsided right now, but Houston made a number of really nice saves early in this one, and then again, Mustang, just some, some wild shots, sending things up and over and just wide, so. But the girls will continue to attack. They'll get it dialed in, and then do not be surprised if you begin to see some points really start to rack up here, hopefully in the second half of the first half. And as we are just under 23 minutes to play here in the first half. Hagan with it. Putnam City West does a good job, though, when Mustang gets it into the center of the field. Everybody just kind of collapses, and again, Great opportunity, but just too far underneath it is Addie Jordan. Addie, I think, felt – or no, take that back. Was that – oh, 17, Fairchild. My apologies on that one. But, yeah, Fairchild, I think she could feel the pressure from the defender. Kind of wanted to try to settle that ball a little bit more, but – she could give it maybe one more bounce to get a little bit better control on it. But, again, Mustang takes that up. Hagen sends it up, and that one just wide. So just shot after shot after shot for Mustang. But so far, only one of them has found their way to the back of the net. So let's sit down. Again, touched by West, but C will take it. She'll send it back up. Stouffer has it, and it goes out. So Putnam City West will throw in there right in front of the Mustang bench. Talked about it during the Classic Chevrolet pregame show. Tonight is senior night, so in between our girls and guys game. Challenge come out. Houston's way outside the goal. Nobody back. C sends it in. Put it in the back of the net and on the board. Goal, Broncos. So Houston had to come out and challenge. Couldn't corral that one. The loose ball bounces around, and it finds its way onto the foot of Sophia C, and she puts that one in the back of the net. 2-0 Mustang here. 21-14 left to play. So just about 10 minutes after the first one, I believe the first one was at 31 and change, and this one comes at 21 and change. So Mustang up now 2-0. Again, the pressure by Mustang forced Houston to come way outside the box. And she couldn't control it. That one knocked out. It'll be a throw in for Putnam City West. But as I was saying before, that C goal in between our girls and guys games here tonight, we'll have our senior night festivities. We'll honor all of our Mustang Bronco soccer seniors. So make sure and stick around for that as well. And then Getting some information from the track meet going on down at OU where, once again, Mustang track and field just absolutely looks to be dominating the competition. Last week at the conference meet, the boys knocked off the defending champs and the defending state champions, I believe, Edmund Memorial, to take first place in that meet. 
and the girls finished two points behind defending state champions Edmund Memorial. So Mustang track and field this season has just been, again, I don't use that word very often, but they have just been absolutely dominant. So the girls four by 100, they win that one with a time of 47.3. Oki Print Barn throw in coming up for Mustang. The girls four by two, they come away with the win right there at 142.1, just fractions of seconds ahead of Jinx. The boys four by two. Well, the guys get third in that one. And just barely off the pace of Jinx and Broken Arrow. So Jordan Atkinson continues her run through. Oh, here's a run by Mustang again. Gets around Houston, puts it in the back of the net, and on the board, goal Broncos. London Hagen gets her first one. So just about two minutes after Sophia C gets one, Hagen gets one. So Hagen puts that one in the back of the net, makes it 3-0 now with just under 19 to play here in the first half. So nice job, London Hagen again. Houston had to come out and challenge. Hagen stayed in control of the ball and then just rolled it right across the line. But as I was saying, during that track meet down at OU, Jordan Atkinson just continues to control the girls' 100 meters. So 11.9 to come in first place. So the girls' 300 meter had third place finisher Jalen Adams with a time of 45.9. And that one rolls out before C can catch up with it. So again, it'll be another goal kick coming up for West. Derek Strawn, he's had quite the go at it. The boys' 400 meters, he comes up in second place today. The time of 49.9. So, again, out there running in the wind. So, I know he's run some, some times quicker than that this year. And then the girls, 300-meter high hurdles. Jalen Adams, 45.9 on that to finish third. So, Carvel Jones, 22 feet, 10 and 3 quarters inches in the boys' long jump. That's good enough for second place. So, again, this thing just continuing to rack up those team points. Girls long jump, no doubt about it. That's going to be Cassidy Watkins, 19, 10, and three quarters. So she's jumped over 20 feet, I believe, somewhere around 21 feet. I want to say, so she has been just extremely impressive with the girls high jump, or girls long jump. So, again, another great day for Mustang Bronco track and field down at OU. And it's a great start here to the first half as Mustang is up 3-0 over Putnam City West. 17 minutes left to play. Here in the first half. Again, you saw our game ball sponsor tonight was Classic Chevrolet. Sent in just, just a little bit too high. You get that ball down about two or three inches, and that one's probably going to sneak in between the keeper's fingertips and the crossbar. But another oral surgery specialist of Oklahoma shot on goal. But no, Classic Chevrolet and Chevy Youth Sports are giving away some money to Mustang Athletics for every test drive over at Classic Chevrolet at 8900 Northwest Expressway. Classic Chevrolet will donate $25 to Mustang Athletics. So we appreciate their, their sponsorship and their long-time just friendship here with Mustang Athletics, the fine folks at what is now called Classic Chevrolet. Again, 8900 Northwest Expressway. C sends that one in well wide. C 
sent back out. But, again, as I, as I look down, I mean, I don't know if I've seen – and I haven't done a – you know, I haven't done a ton of soccer games. I've done enough to know that Mustang right now – I mean, really, without a doubt, it's got to be at least 90-10 on the possession percentage. So Putnam City West for, again, throw this one up there, maybe the fourth or fifth time gets it across midfield. And then again, Mustang just takes it right away, pushing it up the side. Hagen has it, gets past one defender, sends it back to the middle, chip it up, off the post, trying to go for it. There it is. Nice job to finish it off, Sophia C. Houston couldn't get that one. Ball bounces around, and C will put it in the back of the net for her second goal of the game. So a brace for C here in the first half. 14-43 on the board, and C with her second goal of the game. Makes it 4-0 now, Mustang. And again... Talked about it a lot at the beginning. Just how much pressure Mustang just kept putting on Houston and Putnam City West. And then finally, the wall began to crack. In their last few trips down, they have put points on the board. Coming back into the game is Pando for Mustang. See, you tried to push that one through some traffic to get it to Soto, who had a nice run going right up the middle. Nobody had really stepped up to mark her, and she was running free right down the middle of the field. But again, just a little bit too much real estate between her and C for Sophia to be able to push that one up to her. That one out across, out across the fence line over there on the east side of the field, and I don't know. You can maybe see from your shot. Yeah, I, I'll go over there when the sun's up. But man, that ball crosses over that fence during the guys' game. I ain't going over there when it's dark because that's the graveyard on the other side. You won't find me messing around over there when it's dark. And I'll tell you right now, for, for a handful of years, I lived right across the street from that thing. I didn't like going on my front porch at nighttime. There was some... You never know what's happening over there at, at dark 30. Again, sent in. Well, wide. Houston will roll it out. One of her teammates will once again take the kick. Again, Mustang has done a really nice job taking advantage of the wind at their back here in the first half. And I mean, what you'd really like to see, I'd like to see it so I can maybe get home a little bit earlier tonight, enjoy some of this beautiful weather that we're having. Is I'd like to see, well, I think maybe it would take six more goals here in the final 12 and a half of the first half. But if somebody's up by 10 or more after the first half. They're just going to go ahead and call it. So Mustang could get some of those early ones to go. They could, if we had been able to get some of those early ones to go, I should say. Mustang could maybe be challenging for that right now. Vincent sends that one in <laughs> to the right side of everything. And West will set it up to go again. Mustang just been in total control of this one from the start. And there you see what I was talking about with Denson. She just laid back, eyed that ball where it was going, and then just went and attacked it. So came from about only 25, 30 yards away when she had started her run to get to that. So a couple more substitutions for Mustang. It's an Oki Print Barn throw-in 
on the far side for the Broncos. One of those subs is number seven, Ainsley Neal. This one sent in, and Addie Jordan makes her way back in. And again, another good look at it. This one sent just wide here on our side here. We call the near side. And sent back out. Challenge for it. Tajmir is going to come away with it. And then tripping up there in the middle of the field, whistling a foul on Mustang. So free kick for West. 4 nothing Mustang, 10 and a half to play here in the first half. Again, I believe it was at the 31-minute mark. Mustang was able to finally get one to go, and then they've put three more on the board to take total control of this one. Again, as we move to within about 10 minutes until halftime. West with it. Again, first time in a long time they've been down here. Poked away, but Patriots will keep it, and they give it right back over. Denson on the far side gets it up to C, battling for it, and Sophia's going to come away with it. She's going to send it up, giving chase. Houston, oh, man, that ball had a little bit of spin on it. Houston went to gobble that one up and almost rolled right off her arms. She doesn't get that. It is a wide open net. I believe both Soto and Pando were right there. And Pando just a little bit too aggressive. Climbing up on the back of Lopez is whistled for the foul. So free kick. Patriots. One sent in. Soto has it. Opportunity. Oh, a whistle on the flag comes up. Offsides is the call. First one of the game. So, ball was sent out just a little bit too far in front. And Jarelli was giving chase, and I think she had to. Put the pedal to the metal a little bit more than she wanted to, and that caused her to get – or they sent it up. Sorry, it wasn't – I believe it was Pando that sent it up, and I believe it was Hagen. Oh, nope, number one. Ainsley Neal, seven, was the one giving chase. So, you know, we'll start over. Three, two, one. Pando sent it up just a little bit too far. Neal had to run faster than she wanted to, and that's what caused her to go off sides as she was giving chase to try to get to that ball. Goes out. West throws it in. And just like that, Neal takes it away. Gets it back to the center. Pando up to Soto. Soto foot to ball, but again, just sends it up and over everything. So scoreboard here in the stadium has it 12 shots to none. And I think they're being being a little conservative. Mustang has just, again, there's been some times where it, where it almost looks like, where it almost looks like target practice. Scotty Pierce was working it up the side. Maya has it and continues to control it, looking for somewhere to go with it. Gets it over here on the near side. Pierce has it down into the corner. She sends it. Able to catch up with it is Neal. Nice touch. Oh, but I don't think they saw the West defender right there. And again, a little back and forth action. West trying to work the ball up towards midfield, and then again, just kind of blindly kicking it up towards midfield. 
Tipped up ball still or still bouncing around. Soto deflected that one but couldn't control it. Sent up. That's it. Put it in the back of the net and on the board. Goal of Broncos. I believe. Guys, correct me if I'm wrong. I look like look like number 10, Addy Jordan. We'll get we'll get confirmation on that one. But I'm pretty sure that was number 10, Addy Jordan with the bright orange boots. And she just had that one measured perfectly. But just enough on it to get it up and over the outstretched arms of the keeper, Houston, and sneak it in under the crossbar. And Mustang again attacking. Pando has it. She sends it over here on our side to Neal. He tries to send that one in, but couldn't quite get enough on it. And Houston just sends that one nine miles up into the air. The wind catches it and hardly goes anywhere. So, again, Mustang with a nice opportunity to continue to make West work. And it's actually an Oakey Print Barn throw in for Mustang. Up and over. Again, just trying to clear it out. We're closing in on the five minute mark of the first half. Mustang up 5 0. Denson with it. And she's challenged out there. Nice speed from Lopez. Lopez continues to work in directing traffic. They send that one up. And Maddie Hedgecock had it. She gets it back across. Again, just a little bit too much contact there, Addie Jordan. So with the three-point takedown, sets up a free kick for West. Mejia lines it up. She sends it in. That one's sent down deep, and that one's going to get past everybody, and it's going to roll across the end line. It'll be goal kick west. Clock continues to run as we're now down to about four minutes to play here in the first half. Mustang up 5-0, total control from the start. Again, Mustang at least 14 shots on goal, still no shots. Maddie Bullard, she, Maddie could just go ahead and set up a lawn chair back there in the box and catch some sun. As I believe can only remember one time she's actually touched the ball, and that one was – this ball was just kind of lobbed in by West. So, ball out on the far sideline. It'll be a throw in for Putnam City West. Headed back up and out. So, it'll be a goal kick for the Patriots. Look down. I can see the Putnam City West boys team walking down the sideline. They're headed down to the far end of the field. They'll start going through some warm-ups. And then you'll see as soon as the horn sounds, you'll see both guys' squads. They will hustle out onto the field to start going through some getting through some more warm-ups and drills and they're getting ready for their game. Sent back in right in the middle of the box. But Soto unable to get to it. It's knocked out on the far side by West, so it'll be an Oki Print Barn throw in. Denson comes in and just takes that one away, and then she's tripped up just outside the box. So another really good opportunity coming up here for Mustang as it'll be a Bronco free kick right there at the top of the arc. So the official's going to mark off the steps. I believe that's Addie Jordan. Addie put one in from not too far off this spot for the fifth goal of the game. 
just a few minutes ago. See if she's got it measured out and if she can, again, drop this one in a bucket up, chips it over, ball bounces around. Ricochets out and goes across the end line back to Putnam City West. Finally, Patriots get the ball back into play, get things ready to go. They'll set it down, and it'll be close to a minute left in the first half before they put this ball back in play. Send it up and out. That one's controlled by Jordan. Denson over to Pando. Pando fights through a defender, tried to fight through a second one, but couldn't get it. And then that one off the backside of... Soto, yeah, a little bit of a miss hit as Maya heads that one back. Again, ball's loose down in the corner. Over there giving chase is Fairchild. That one knocked out. Oh, nope, they're going to say it stayed in. Putnam City West going to keep, keep playing. Mustang pushes it back to the middle of the field. Jordan with it. Denson has it. She looks to cook. Pierce sends that one in. Pando controls it, but can't get it off before the horn sounds, and we will go to the halftime locker room with Mustang on top, 5-0. It took about 10 minutes to get the first one on the board, and then after that it was a nice little run by Mustang. And they got five of them before we head to halftime. So there you can see Pando and Hagen. Sophia C. with the brace, she's got two of them. And then Jordan with the one there, just over five minutes to go. And that's how Mustang gets to it. And, yeah, you can see right there possession time or pos possession percentage just been all, all with the Broncos, 90 to 10. 22 actual shots, 14 on goal. So two corners, three tackles, and then Mustang whistled for the one offsides. And then just straight zeros really down the board for Putnam City West. And they, the one that matters, we talk about it all the time, the one that matters there on the bottom of your screen, you can see it, Putnam City West zero, Mustang five as we head to halftime. So we'll take a halftime timeout. Be back with all the second half action. You're watching Broncos Soccer brought to you by Oklahoma City FC. OKC, years in the making. The all-new classic Chevrolet Northwest Expressway is finally here. Family owned and operated. Shop new Silverados. A massive 7,500 off MSRP. From the stockyards to Bricktown, Paseo Arts to Midtown. Upgrade to a new Silverado. 7,500 off at the all-new classic Chevrolet Northwest Expressway. This is OKC. This is classic. Relax and enjoy the difference. I understand that buying or selling your home isn't just a transaction, it's a journey. Because your dreams and your investments matter, I'm committed to working for you. With communication and integrity as my main priority, let me show you how I'm different. Liz Howerton Real Estate, making big moves. Football there, football there, football everywhere. What? How is that a flag? He landed on him after the sack. That's roughing the passer. Huh. Okay, what if he hit him high? Roughing the passer. And low? Roughing the passer. Well, what if he couldn't stop his body like a human, so he ends up trampling him, and then he's like, oh, no, and he tries to go back, and he tramples him some more, and he's like, I'm so sorry, I'm a buffalo. I don't know my strength compared to you. Wait, what? Come on, ref! Let the boys play! Ladies and gentlemen, Cowboy Driving Academy welcomes you to another big night for the Mustang Broncos. Cowboy Driving Academy is Oklahoma's largest driving safety school. So when it's time to drive, it's time for Cowboy Driving Academy. 
Visit CowboyDriving.com and register online for permits and driver safety classes and testing. If you're at least 15 years old, it's time to drive. And no one gets you driving more safely than Cowboy Driving Academy, Oklahoma's largest and most trusted driving school. Most permit applicants can even skip the written DPS test with Cowboy because we work six months ahead of schedule. Visit CowboyDriving.com for details. Discover authentic Italian cuisine at Emma L's in West OKC. Featuring freshly prepared Italian favorites. Everything made to order. Dine in or get it to go. Emma L's Italian Kitchen. Kilpatrick Turnpike and 39th Expressway. Let us do the cooking. Our mission here at Oral Surgery Specialists of Oklahoma is to provide exceptional care to our patients in a warm and welcoming environment. We enjoy creating an exceptional experience for our patients with belief in patient education, careful listening, and customized treatment planning. Here at Oral Surgery Specialists of Oklahoma, we uniquely offer a full scope of oral surgery and periodontal services under one roof, including dental implant placement, wisdom teeth removal, gum grafting, and jaw surgery. We love what we do here and we look forward to the opportunity to be able to care for our patients and provide exceptional oral surgery and periodontal surgery. Oki Print Barn is a proud sponsor of Mustang Athletics. For the best in custom apparel, contact Oki Print Barn today. Oki Print Barn, your hometown screen printer located on Highway 152 in Mustang. Let's go Broncos! OU Health ER and Urgent Care is now open with two convenient locations in both South Oklahoma City and Yukon. You get the convenience of an urgent care and all the expertise of an ER under one roof, and you only pay for the level of care you need. To learn more, visit www.ouhealth.com slash one roof. In network with most major insurance providers, including Medicare and Medicaid. Joe Cooper Ford has three Ford dealerships around the metro to serve Oklahoma better than anyone else. What does having three of the best Ford dealerships in the state mean for you? It means three times the selection and three times the savings, and that's three times the service. And Joe guarantees to beat any price in Oklahoma by $500, or he'll give you $10,000. That's why Joe beats the competition three to one. Who loves the Oklahoma? In Oklahoma City or the metro area, your stop for commercial and residential garage doors, garage door openers, and more, look no further than the incredible team at A Plus Door and Gate. A Plus Door and Gate, veteran owned and operated. Swadley's is serving up Oklahoma's favorite barbecue without ever leaving your car. That hot, tender, smoky goodness is ready for you to pick up in our drive through or convenient curbside service. Hey, put it in the front seat, please. We'll even serve your self-driving car. Thank you. So come on, we're Swadley's world-famous barbecue, family-owned and operated. If you want the real deal, call State Farm Agent Drew Vincent in Edmond today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Even though our name has changed to Bank 7, the same friendly faces are here continuing to serve our community. We hope you'll come see us soon.
sure you've heard two is better than one. Well, when it comes to the best new Ram truck deals in Oklahoma, Joe Cooper guarantees it. Get twice the selection, twice the savings, twice the service. We guarantee to beat any deal in a new Ram truck by $500, or we'll give you $10,000. That's why Joe beats the competition two to one. Who loves you, Oklahoma? Joe Cooper Ram and Shawnee and Yukon. Our mission here at Oral Surgery Specialists of Oklahoma is to provide exceptional care to our patients in a warm and welcoming environment. We enjoy creating an exceptional experience for our patients with belief in patient education, careful listening, and customized treatment planning. Here at Oral Surgery Specialists of Oklahoma, we uniquely offer a full scope of oral surgery and periodontal services under one roof, including dental implant placement, wisdom teeth removal, gum grafting, and jaw surgery. We love what we do here and we look forward to the opportunity to be able to care for our patients and provide exceptional oral surgery and periodontal surgery. OU Health ER and Urgent Care is now open with two convenient locations in both South Oklahoma City and Yukon. You get the convenience of an urgent care and all the expertise of an ER under one roof and you only pay for the level of care you need. To learn more, visit www.ouhealth.com slash one roof. In network with most major insurance providers, including Medicare and Medicaid. Welcome back to Mustang, ladies and gentlemen. Just about ready to get the second half underway. Mustang, again, just in total control of this one. Five nothing as we get ready to start the second half. But it took Mustang a little bit, but then at the 31-minute mark, finally got one to go and then had a few more begin to fall after that. So, Sophia C. with the brace. Sophia's got two of them here on senior night. So, again, don't forget, we'll have all the senior night festivities for you in between our two games here tonight. So, teams will flip ends of the field. So, Mustang will actually be going into the the <coughs> pardon me going into the wind here in the second half and again we'll take a quick look at the KFOR forewarn second half forecast and that wind still coming out of the south about 13 miles an hour 73 degrees, cooled down just a little bit. But, yeah, so last check there, you can see they're saying 15 miles an hour. But So it's still still blowing around pretty good. We'll see if that changes the way Mustang's going to play. But, you know, really it was they controlled, controlled the ball, didn't have to do a lot of long through balls or anything like that. They really just maintained possession on West's end of the field. And West was content to just try to fling it down. So nice job getting that one down to C, and then it's popped up. <coughs> C kind of stumbles. Again, ball just kind of pinballing around before Mustang finally gets full control of it, and they'll work it back. And threads that one up front. But West there to knock it away, and then saving it on the far sideline. This one down deep. Pando has it. She's got enough speed to get past the defender and turn. She does. So she'll center that one in, but can't bend it around enough. As Soto had worked her way into a good spot there right in front of the net. Curie can get a little bit more on that one and bend it around. Or sorry, Girelli can bend it around Curie right there to possibly just put that one in the net and make it an even wider lead for Mustang again, up 5 nothing. Oh, man, great look at it. Beautiful ball. 
Great cross there by C back to the center. And going up and getting that one. On the far or coming from the far side right down to the middle was Hagen and that one just off the inside of the foot again over the over the crossbar but again Mustang wins it right back and again I, the ball has crossed midfield but West was never in possession of it it was Mustang that brought it back across midfield and now for the first time West touches it on the Broncos side of the field but can't control it so only really the second touch of the game for Matty Bullard back there. Keeper here tonight. One sent up. Soto with it. She chips it up. C has it. C on the run. Sends it in. Oh, just misses the far post. She brings that one in just a little bit. It had already gotten past Houston, who'd come out to challenge a little bit. That ball whizzed right by her. Man, again, I'm telling you, just just a matter of inches more to the right, and that one's probably off the post into the back of the net. And that goal kick is intercepted. Throwing it up and, and tried to go short side. Maybe tried to sneak that one in, but just a little bit off target. So two quick oral surgery specialists of Oklahoma shot on goals for Mustang. And, again, they start the second half just like they did all first half, just again, just a barrage of shots at Houston and the PC West net. This one snakes through all the way out near midfield before Brown picks it up, and now Hagen has it, chips it up. C in control, trying to get around the defender. Kind of defender looked like she kind of had her hooked up pretty good. Sophia couldn't spin away. And it'll be another goal kick coming up for Putnam City West. So talked about Bronco track and field. Bronco slow pitch softball has just continued to dominate their opponents after just a couple early losses to in the early part of the season. They have been on quite the run here recently. Yesterday, they defeated the Norman Tigers 23 to nothing. I mean, that's a football score right there. And then turned right around and took on Guthrie. Won that game 12 to two. And then today, I believe all these games down at Hall of Fame Stadium in the Hall of Fame Classic. But Mustang beats Preston 12-2. to So, again, three more wins for Coach Darty and the ladies. Again, looking to defend their state title in slow pitch softball. So, Bronco baseball over at the – it was over in Putnam City at the, op, the Putnam City Optimus Tournament or Festival, whichever you want to call it. So, they defeated – Latta, 12 to 2. Or no, that's still in softball. Yeah, 12 to 2. Then flip my pay, flip my notes over here. Bronco baseball. Yeah, at the Northwest Optimus Tournament. Goodness gracious, this one got out of hand in a hurry. Bronco baseball wins 26 to 0 over Putnam City Original. That's a that's a slow pitch score right there. Coach Darty and the girls probably a little bit jealous that again that they were outscored by Coach Patterson and the guys. Again, softball beat Norman 23-0, Guthrie 12-2, Latta 12-2, Preston 12-2. They like that score. And then the boys said, hey, anything you can do, we can do better. They put 26 on the board against Putnam City Original. So... And we'll double check that, but yeah, that's the that's the notes that we were given up here. Another shot attempt there by C. That one's gobbled up by Houston. And 
And West for the second time this half is in control of the ball on Mustang's side of the field. Soto just about able to come in and take that one away. This one flies up and goes, takes a hard bounce up and over the head of Bullard back there. So she'll she'll get the ball and get ready to put it right back into play. Bullard sends that one out. Mustang with it, bringing it up the far side of the field. And just going right past everybody was Fairchild. And now C has it, put it in the back of the net and put it on the board. Goal, Broncos. That is a hat trick for Sophia C. The senior on senior night comes through big time. Again, just a great ball all the way up the field by Mustang. And then C gets it and finds just enough room to get past the defender. And Houston has to kind of gamble. And Sophia just blows it past her for her third goal of the game. Six in all for Mustang. Again, that one comes at 31-53 left in the second half. So all Mustang Bronco goals brought to you by Oral Surgery Specialists of Oklahoma. You can visit them online at OklahomaCityOralSurgery.com to see how they can help you and your family with any and all oral surgery needs. Check out our great friends at Oral Surgery Specialists of Oklahoma. Go ahead and give a big shout-out to A-plus Door and Gate Services. They're our sponsors for all Bronco goal saves and stops. And, well, the way things are going here tonight, I don't know if we're going to get any of those. So we'll go ahead and remind you that A-plus Door and Gate Services is your home for residential and commercial garage doors and garage door openers. Pause on that for a second. As Mustang again on the attack. C centers it in, but, oh, man. She had Pando right there on the on the back side, but Houston was able to go down and get that one, and she quickly gets it back out into play. But as I was saying, your home for residential and commercial garage doors and garage door openers is A-plus door and gate services. Along with sales, service, and repairs, don't forget they can help you with all of your power gate needs for your property as well. Visit a plus doorandgate.com for more information and to schedule your free estimate. Oki Print Barn throw in for Mustang. That one's won by Hagen. Hagen has it wide open. Oh! <coughs> Just, she decided to go middle. Houston guessed middle and came up with it. That was one of those where she was hoping Houston, the keeper for Putnam City West, was going to guess left or right, choose a side, and she was going to be able to bury it in the back of the net right down the pipe, but Houston just stood her ground there in the middle of the box. and This old rock, paper, scissor, and both of, both of them chose rock. Soto has it, a little shake and bake up top. Oh, man, almost pushes that one through, but again, Kyrie with it. Now she brings it back. C lets it go past her. Put it on the back of the net and put it on the board. Goal, Broncos. This one, London Hagen. So London gets an oral surgery specialist of Oklahoma. Mustang Bronco goal. And with just under 30 minutes to play here in the second half, Mustang has now extended the lead to seven. As it's seven nil, Mustang. Thing. Brown knocks that one away, so Emily will keep it. She'll look to go to work. It's that one back in. Pando has it. She gets it settled. 
Sends it back up to Soto. Soto challenged and has it knocked away from her. And then Brown comes in and causes enough commotion that Addie Jordan was able to knock it away. So Mustang will have it, and they'll work it over to the far side. This time Hedgecock will bring it up and across. Maddie with it in the middle of the field. She's going to send it in deep. And again, Houston's going to come way outside. She's got a couple teammates right there. And that's just playing with fire right there because, again, that ball takes a funny hop or she mishandles it. And that leaves everything wide open back there for Mustang. Soto has it. She pushes it right up the middle. Nobody stops her. She gets in deep. Crosses into the center. Oh, and right there. And soon as that one came off her foot, you could see London just, just kind of bring the hands up. She knew that she had wasted a really, really good opportunity on that one right there. So. London will come out. Actually, some substitutions. It's Tegan Thomas, number 16. Thomas will come in. As well as Denson is back. Or Denson, yeah, Denson back in. And number 12, Riley Stauffer. And Riley Stauffer back in the game as well. Stauffer has it. She looks to turn and burn. She sends it back to the... Throwing that one up and in. And it's bouncing around and put it in the back of the net and put it on the board. That one just kind of got loose. I think everybody thought it was just going to harmlessly roll out across the in line, but I think they called – guys, did they call handball? Uh -huh. Yep. All right, got up a little bit higher than I thought. So, yeah, we're going to get another look at it. Oh, yeah, you can see it right there. It kind of – Went right off her knee and just got her right down there on the, on the, just below the elbow. So a nice call by the official. Because again, that's pretty tight quarters. A quick Oki Print Barn throw in for Mustang. And this one sent back on center. C has it. She gets it over here on this side. Tajmir. Tiptoes the sidelines. She crosses, but nobody on the receiving end. And it goes from one sideline to the other just about. And again, one taken away by Mustang Soto with it. Denson has it. She's going to wind up and let one fly, and that one will go just outside the pipes. So it'll be a goal kick coming up for PC West. 25 and a half to play in the game. Mustang on top, 7 nothing here in this one. West finally puts it back into play. And again, they just send it down deep and the only... Only ones back there in the red and black for Mustang. Nice little back touch by Soto, and then a good run up the middle by Stauffer. C had it for a second, but it just got a little bit too far out in front of her. And now McCool has it. Again, West just unable to string together you know, two or three good passes. They get one, two, and then can't connect anything past that. And so Mustang right there to, to take it away. Saying, yeah. 
So Mustang with it. Again, just kind of, oh, send it around. And uh, everybody for Putnam City West just kind of stopped. I think they were waiting on a call, a call that never came. So that one, put it in the back of the net and put it on the board. It's 8 nothing, And again, everybody in the in the white tops for Putnam City West just stopped. And Houston just stood there. And Mustang continued to play. There was no whistle. So the Broncos kept going. And they put it in the back of the net for their eighth goal of the game. And again, we'll look and see exactly who that was. But it's another oral surgery specialist of Oklahoma goal for the Broncos. And then I, some subs for Mustang, so we'll try to get those for you as well. So 23, Sidney Reyes in. And again, we're trying to see who, who's getting all the the high fives and everything after that game, or after that goal. Also in for the Broncos, number seven, Ainsley Neal. Ainsley Neal in for Mustangs. You can hear Jay Bond, public address announcer, make that call. Just, it's, it's hard to tell. It happens so fast, and it's right at the edge of our frame. When I look at it, it looks like maybe Soto. So we're we're still trying to to get, but so yeah, so yep, got confirmation. Yep, thumbs up from the guys up top here with us. Yeah, so that eighth that eighth goal, courtesy of Kyrie Soto. So congratulations to her. So C with it. She looks to cook, splits the defenders, puts foot on it. Oh man! And then on the rebound, C had a great look at it off the crossbar. Nobody there. And that goal is going to be number 17, Olivia Fairchild. So as C's shot was right on target, just clipped the bottom of the crossbar, came back out and waiting for it was 17, Olivia Fairchild to put that one in the back of the net and on the board for the ninth goal of the game here for Mustang. So with 22-16 to play, and I believe... Maybe with the next goal, that will put an end to this one. And nobody stopping her as she comes right up the sideline. Aubrey Goble, ball back in to the center as Stoffer has it. In turn shot, Houston down on one knee. Reaches out and pulls that one right in. put it back into play and again I think as I just kind of keep track of my little chicken scratch notes here I think Putnam City West has only been in actual possession of the ball now three times this is their third time and this is about the deepest they've been in possession of the ball here in the second half so in a good look at it and facing her first challenge of the day is Bullard. And Bullard comes up with an A-plus door and gate services stop. So A-plus door and gate and your Mustang Broncos closing the door on the competition. So Pando has it. She looks to burn up the sideline. Nice job sliding in there and putting it into that was Vasquez. And then it's taken away. Pando has it once again, and she's not going to be stopped this time. 
She's going to turn and burn down the side, see if she can cross it. Couldn't really get anything on it. The defender was able to kind of catch up with her just a little bit, make that cross a little bit more difficult. As we hit the halfway point of the second half, I look around down here towards the, the northwest corner of the field as the crowd has definitely swelled. That's where all the senior parents are meeting. And they'll start to get them in order and get them all ready for senior night. And we'll, we'll recognize all the Mustang High School seniors. We'll carry it all here live for you. Then we'll take a break, and we'll be back with the guys game. It'll be again, these same two teams, Mustang and Putnam City West. West taking, taking their time to put this one back into play. Again, taking that one away is Goebel. You can see right there where Sidney Reyes was trying to go with that one. One of the West players is able to stick a boot out and knock it down. But Mustang with it now on the far side. Chipped up and then back in. Denson with it. She gives it over to Stouffer. And that one's just cleared. And it'll be an Oakey Print Barn throw in coming up for Mustang. Print Barn throw in goes to Neal. Neal's cross is knocked away, and that should set up an OU Health ER and urgent care corner kick for the Broncos. So an opportunity, nice opportunity for Mustang right here. If they can make something happen here, setting up to take this one. Riley Stouffer sends it in. Nice little heel kick sent right back. So Sidney Reyes with a really nice look at it right there. Just didn't miss by much. This one sent in. Oh, and a little bump in the box. So no harm, no foul. And then Houston's just going to launch this one up, try to get it up into the breeze and see how far she can get it to carry. Again, sliding in just a moment ago to knock that one away. It was Morgan Vong. A lot of collision down deep, but both players really just going after the loose ball, one of those 50-50 balls. And it rolls up to Houston, and she picks it up and sends it back out. Again, Mustang has it right here in prime real estate, center of the field. Pando with it. Nice job. She sends it over here onto the near side. Looking to center. It'll be Goble. Oh, and just misses the far post again. That one. I think that one kind of fooled everyone. That one stayed down low. So another oral surgery specialist of Oklahoma shot on goal for Mustang. And again, that one slides just past the outside post and the ball rolls out and it will be an OU Health ER and Urgent Care corner kick. Ball still kind of just bouncing around. Nobody can really get a foot on it and then a whistle and a foul. The official says stop the clock. And we're going to have a PK, and coming from the far end of the field is going to be the keeper, the senior, Maddie Bullard, is going to get a chance here. So little goalie-on-goalie goalie action. 
So, yeah, penalty called in the box. So it looked like there's just – I didn't really see a whole lot from our vantage point, but the official's right down there in the middle of it. So Bollard and Houston one-on-one. -on -one. Sets it up. And, oh, ball still loose. You can get after it, but nice job. Bollard sent that one right in. And, again, Houston, she can go left, right, or center, and she decided to choose center. And that's exactly what Maddie chose as well. So for the second time tonight, Houston chose chose correctly on that one. So again, that was again not very often the senior or the keeper gets to an opportunity for a PK. And as soon as diving attempt or diving stop right there at the near post. I'm sure they had talked about that one, that if there was a PK opportunity, Maddie was going to – because as soon as the official signaled it, Maddie sprinted from one end of the field to the other. So, you know, hey, you're up 9 nothing clock definitely in your favor. And it's senior night again because Mustang will finish on the road at Capitol Hill at Bishop McGinnis. Centered, headed in, and oh, man – Coming out of nowhere was Houston to get that one. I thought that was a for sure no doubter. And then Houston in the highlighter yellow. So not sure how I lost her, but, man, she just flew in there. So did her best Superman impersonation. And she just swooped in and stole that one. Again, Mustang looking for that 10th goal down deep. Ball's deflected back out, and West has it. And they'll look to try to go, but that one taken away by Goble. Goble launches one, and that bends off to the left. Goal kick set up. Once again, they'll. Ball sit around. It'll be a free kick coming up here for Putnam City West. Down deep. That one bounces right up into the waiting arms. Sent back out again. Just under 13 to play here in the second half. And from about nine minutes into this one, it has been all Mustang. Pando races up the sideline. She's looking for somewhere to cross. Sends it in. And oh, almost missing that one. Got just enough of it to redirect it into the goal. Put it in the back of the net and put it on the board. Goal, Broncos, and that will put an end to this one with 12.22 on the clock. That's the 10th goal of the game, and Mustang will end this one early again as they win 10-0 here over Putnam City West. So we'll look at it and, again, try to get exactly who that was. Panda with a great cross, sent it right in. And never really get to see the back of her jersey in a good angle. Again, we'll kind of keep looking. So it may have been 17, Fairchild is what we're going to go with up top here. And I'm sure 
I'm sure everybody sitting down here in front of the press box will let us know if it wasn't. If it, they'll say, no, no, it was so-and-so. But No, hey, congratulations, Olivia Fairchild, as she puts that one in the back of the net. Score goes 10 nothing, and that is the end of it here for our girls' game. Again, Mustang wins 10 nothing over Putnam City West. Just absolutely dominant here in this one. Again, first goal scored at 31 and change in the first half, and then Mustang continued to just attack and attack and attack and finally got them through, got some through, and then – is able to end this one early. Again, 10 nothing, the final score, and we've got some final stats for you here. Again, you can see Pando at 32.04, Hagen at 18.55. C actually with three goals here tonight, so she had a hat trick. Soto with a goal. Jordan with a goal, and then Fairchild finishes it off. We actually just ran out of room there in the, in the box. So when you put 10 goals on the board, you can. And, again, Mustang, just time of possession or possession percentage. Nothing Putnam City West could do is Mustang just total control of the ball all night long. 35 shots, 25 of them on goal. So give Houston credit. I mean, she was under fire all night long. And you just you take that many shots – and eventually some of them are going to find their way through. So three corners for Mustang, three tackles, and then the one offsides that came there in the first half. But, again, you put it all together, you shake it up, and it's a recipe for a big win. 10-0 Mustang wins here this one tonight. So, guys, we're going to take a real, real quick timeout, give everybody a chance to kind of catch their breath and get reset, and then we will be right back with you for all of the senior night festivities here in Mustang. So, again, girls win 10-0. We'll take a time out. You're watching Bronco Soccer brought to you by Oklahoma City FC. OU Health ER and Urgent Care is now open with two convenient locations in both South Oklahoma City and Yukon. You get the convenience of an urgent care and all the expertise of an ER under one roof, and you only pay for the level of care you need. To learn more, visit www.ouhealth.com slash one roof. In network with most major insurance providers, including Medicare and Medicaid. Oki Print Barn is a proud sponsor of Mustang Athletics. For the best in custom apparel, contact Oki Print Barn today. Oki Print Barn, your hometown screen printer located on Highway 152 in Mustang. Let's go Broncos! Back with you live here, ladies and gentlemen, Mustang. And as we will take some time now to recognize our Mustang High School seniors. And recognize our, our seniors who have dedicated their time and been just outstanding representatives of Mustang High School and our community. So first making her way out there is, is Maddie Bullard. She's the daughter of Shane and Heather Bullard. She'll be going to SNU on an athletic scholarship majoring in pre-physical therapy. Next up, Lydia Hansing. Lydia is the daughter of Brock and Ryan Hansing. She will attend the University of Oklahoma, majoring in anesthesiology. Our next senior, Macy James. Macy is the daughter of Tony and Crystal James. She will attend her, uh, will be attending Rose State College on an athletic scholarship, majoring in exercise science. And now we have senior Jana McCool. Jana, the daughter of Glenn and Eva McCool. She will attend Friends University on an athletic scholarship and undecided on her major. Our next senior here tonight is Sophia C., the daughter of Derek and Kathy Jo C. She will attend Pittsburgh State University on an athletic scholarship and major in criminal psychology. Next up, senior Kyrie Soto. Kyrie, the daughter of Adam, Adam and Julia LaGrace. She will attend the University of Oklahoma, majoring in biology. Shayna Underhill is our next senior tonight, the daughter of Shane and Cheryl Underhill and Brenna Underhill. She will attend the University of Central Oklahoma, majoring in interior design. Our next senior is Grant Bradley. 
Our next senior tonight, Grant Bradley. Grant's the son of Charles and Christy Bradley. He will attend the University of Central Oklahoma and plans to major in business management. Our next senior is Dylan Clymer. Dylan is the son of Jimmy Jr. and Delana Clymer. He plans on attending the University of Oklahoma, majoring in engineering. And then also joining Dylan, his brother, Jackson Clymer, another senior. Once again, Jackson is the son of Jimmy Jr. and Delana Clymer. He will also be attending the University of Oklahoma and plans to major in chemistry. Making his way out now, senior Ethan Connolly. Ethan is the son of Jeremy and Melissa Connolly. He will attend Heston College on an athletic scholarship, majoring in exercise science. Next senior here this evening is Riley Easley. Riley is the son of Sarah and Chris Bell. He'll attend the University of Central Oklahoma, majoring in business management. Next up tonight, we have senior Chris Fott. Chris is the son of Stephen Fott and Kim Hughes. He will attend the University of Oklahoma, majoring in architecture. Our next senior is senior manager Ashley Hopkins. Ashley is the daughter of Travis and Angie Hopkins. She'll be attending Redlands Community College, majoring in liberal studies. Next senior, Taylor King. Taylor, the son of Chad and Jennifer King. He's undecided on what college he will be attending in the fall, but does plan to major in fire science. Next senior up this evening is Mang Kip. Mang is the son of Kim Sian and Mang Singh. She will be attending Oklahoma City Community College, majoring in business. Our next senior is manager Isabella Kirby. Isabella is the daughter of Randy and Amy Kirby. She will attend East Central University, majoring in education. <clears throat> next, making his way out, is Dylan Leisner. Dylan's the son of Ted and Michelle Leisner. He will attend Oklahoma Christian University, majoring in engineering. Next senior, Brody Marshall. Brody's the son of Justin Marshall and Elisa Powers. He will attend Oklahoma State University and plans to major in architecture. Next senior here tonight, Kyler Mitchell. Kyler's the son of Kent and Carrie Mitchell. He'll be attending OSU OKC, majoring in emergency medical science. Our next senior here tonight is Ashton Mullins. Ashton is the son of Matt and Kim Mullins. He plans to attend Oklahoma Christian University on an athletic scholarship while majoring in business. Making his way out onto the field here now is senior Leo Wynn. Leo is the son of Trang and Mai Wynn. He's undecided on what college he will attend, but does plan to major in business. Our next senior this evening is Ian Padilla. He's the son of Israel and Melissa Padilla. He'll be ascending. He'll be attending CV Tech, majoring in electrical trades. Our next senior this evening is Anthony Pasias. Anthony is the son of Hugo and Natalie Pasias, and undecided on his plans after graduation. Our next is senior Jacob Ringo. Jacob's the son of Ken Haskin and Scott Ringo. He'll be attending Oklahoma State University, majoring in accounting and marketing. Next senior, Jake Rother. Jake is the son of Ryan and the Melissa Rother. He will attend the University of Texas at Dallas on an athletic scholarship and major in marketing. 
Our next senior, Noah Thomas. Noah is the son of Waylon and Brandy Thomas. He'll attend the University of Oklahoma and major in information and science technology. And our last senior here this evening is J.R. Vu. J.R. is the son of Truncy Hick Vu and Yen Win, and he is undecided on his plans after graduation. So, again, a number of outstanding Mustang High School Broncos seniors here that have been just incredible representatives of not just Broncos soccer, but Mustang High School and the Mustang community as well. So, again, a, a huge thank you from all the coaches, sponsors, administrators, and all of us here at Mustang. We'd like to say thank you to all of our soccer seniors here this evening. So, again, it is senior night, and Mustang got the first one. Hopefully we can get the second one here. The girls won big 10-0 in their game. And next it is the guys' turn. So the guys will have some warm-up time, about 20 minutes or so, and then we will get this one started. It'll be Mustang and Putnam City West coming up here in, again, just about 20 minutes. We'll have all the action for you live here on MHS Broncosports.tv. Thanks for joining us tonight, and we will see you back here in just a couple moments. Our mission here at Oral Surgery Specialists of Oklahoma is to provide exceptional care to our patients in a warm and welcoming environment. We enjoy creating an exceptional experience for our patients with belief in patient education, careful listening, and customized treatment planning. Here at Oral Surgery Specialists of Oklahoma, we uniquely offer a full scope of oral surgery and periodontal services under one roof, including dental implant placement, wisdom teeth removal, gum grafting, and jaw surgery. We love what we do here, and we look forward to the opportunity to be able to care for our patients and provide exceptional oral surgery and periodontal surgery. Joe Cooper Ford has three Ford dealerships around the metro to serve Oklahoma better than anyone else. What does having three of the best Ford dealerships in the state mean for you? It means three times the selection and three times the savings. And that's three times the service. And Joe guarantees to beat any price in Oklahoma by $500 or he'll give you $10,000. That's why Joe beats the competition three to one. Who loves you, Oklahoma? Discover authentic Italian cuisine at Emma L's in West OKC. Featuring freshly prepared Italian favorites. Everything made to order. Dine in or get it to go. Emma L's Italian Kitchen. Kilpatrick Turnpike and 39th Expressway. Let us do the cooking. Hey Bronco fans, this is Larry Andrews with 777 Roofing and Construction. We're proud supporters of the Mustang Broncos. Go Broncos! OKC, years in the making. The all-new classic Chevrolet Northwest Expressway is finally here. Family owned and operated. Shop new Silverados. A massive 7,500 off MSRP. From the stockyards to Bricktown, Paseo Arts to Midtown. Upgrade to a new Silverado. 7,500 off at the all-new classic Chevrolet Northwest Expressway. This is OKC. This is classic. Relax and enjoy the difference. I understand that buying or selling your home isn't just a transaction, it's a journey. Because your dreams and your investments matter, I'm committed to working for you. With communication and integrity as my main priority, let me show you how I'm different. Liz Howerton Real Estate, making big moves.
there. Football there. Football everywhere! What? How is that a flag? He landed on him after the sack. That's roughing the passer. Huh. Okay, what if he hit him high? Roughing the passer. And low? Roughing the passer. Well, what if he couldn't stop his body like a human, so he ends up trampling him, and then he's like, oh, no, and he tries to go back, and he tramples him some more, and he's like, I'm so sorry, I'm a buffalo. I don't know my strength compared to you. Wait, what? Come on, ref! Let the boys play! Ladies and gentlemen, Cowboy Driving Academy welcomes you to another big night for the Mustang Broncos. Cowboy Driving Academy is Oklahoma's largest driving safety school. So when it's time to drive, it's time for Cowboy Driving Academy. Visit CowboyDriving.com and register online for permits and driver safety classes and testing. If you're at least 15 years old, it's time to drive. And no one gets you driving more safely than Cowboy Driving Academy. Oklahoma's largest and most trusted driving school. Most permit applicants can even skip the written DPS test with Cowboy because we work six months ahead of schedule. Visit CowboyDriving.com for details. Discover authentic Italian cuisine at Emma L's in West OKC. Featuring freshly prepared Italian favorites. Everything made to order. Dine in or get it to go. Emma L's Italian Kitchen. Kilpatrick Turnpike and 39th Expressway. Let us do the cooking. Our mission here at Oral Surgery Specialists of Oklahoma is to provide exceptional care to our patients in a warm and welcoming environment. We enjoy creating an exceptional experience for our patients with belief in patient education, careful listening, and customized treatment planning. Here at Oral Surgery Specialists of Oklahoma, we uniquely offer a full scope of oral surgery and periodontal services under one roof, including dental implant placement, wisdom teeth removal, gum grafting, and jaw surgery. We love what we do here and we look forward to the opportunity to be able to care for our patients and provide exceptional oral surgery and periodontal surgery. Okie Print Barn is a proud sponsor of Mustang Athletics. For the best in custom apparel, contact Okie Print Barn today. Okie Print Barn, your hometown screen printer located on Highway 152 in Mustang. Let's go Broncos! OU Health ER and Urgent Care is now open with two convenient locations in both South Oklahoma City and Yukon. You get the convenience of an urgent care and all the expertise of an ER under one roof, and you only pay for the level of care you need. To learn more, visit www.ouhealth.com slash one roof. In network with most major insurance providers, including Medicare and Medicaid. Joe Cooper Ford has three Ford dealerships around the metro to serve Oklahoma better than anyone else. What does having three of the best Ford dealerships in the state mean for you? It means three times the selection and three times the savings. And that's three times the service. And Joe guarantees to beat any price in Oklahoma by $500, or he'll give you $10,000. That's why Joe beats the competition three to one. Who loves you, Oklahoma? In Oklahoma City or the metro area, your stop for commercial and residential garage doors, garage door openers, and more, look no further than the incredible team at A Plus Door and Gate. A Plus Door and Gate, veteran owned and operated. Swadley's is serving up Oklahoma's favorite barbecue without ever leaving your car. That hot, tender, smoky goodness is ready for you to pick up in our drive through or convenient curbside service. Hey, put it in the front seat, please. We'll even serve your self-driving car. Thank you. So come on, we're Swadley's world-famous barbecue, family-owned and operated. If you want the real deal, call State Farm Agent Drew Vincent in Edmond today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there.
Even though our name has changed to Bank 7, the same friendly faces are here continuing to serve our community. We hope you'll come see us soon. Two is better than one. Well, when it comes to the best new Ram truck deals in Oklahoma, Joe Cooper guarantees it. Get twice the selection, twice the savings, twice the service. We guarantee to beat any deal in a new Ram truck by $500, or we'll give you $10,000. That's why Joe beats the competition two to one. Who loves you, Oklahoma? Joe Cooper Ram in Shawnee and Yukon. Our mission here at Oral Surgery Specialists of Oklahoma is to provide exceptional care to our patients in a warm and welcoming environment. We enjoy creating an exceptional experience for our patients with belief in patient education, careful listening, and customized treatment planning. Here at Oral Surgery Specialists of Oklahoma, we uniquely offer a full scope of oral surgery and periodontal services under one roof, including dental implant placement, wisdom teeth removal, gum grafting, and jaw surgery. We love what we do here and we look forward to the opportunity to be able to care for our patients and provide exceptional oral surgery and periodontal surgery. OU Health ER and Urgent Care is now open with two convenient locations in both South Oklahoma City and Yukon. You get the convenience of an urgent care and all the expertise of an ER under one roof and you only pay for the level of care you need. To learn more, visit www.ouhealth.com slash one roof. In network with most major insurance providers, including Medicare and Medicaid. In Oklahoma City or the metro area, your stop for commercial and residential garage doors, garage door openers, and more, look no further than the incredible team at A Plus Door and Gate. A plus door and gate, veteran owned and operated. Okie Print Barn is a proud sponsor of Mustang Athletics. For the best in custom apparel, contact Okie Print Barn today. Okie Print Barn, your hometown screen printer located on Highway 152 in Mustang. Let's go, Broncos! Discover authentic Italian cuisine at Emma L's in West OKC. Featuring freshly prepared Italian favorites. Everything made to order. Dine in or get it to go. Emma L's Italian Kitchen. Kilpatrick Turnpike and 39th Expressway. Let us do the cooking. Everywhere. Years in the making, the all-new classic Chevrolet Northwest Expressway is finally here. Family owned and operated, shop new Silverados, a massive 7,500 off MSRP. From the stockyards to Bricktown, Paseo Arts to Midtown, upgrade to a new Silverado, 7,500 off at the all-new classic Chevrolet Northwest Expressway. This is OKC. This is classic. Relax and enjoy the difference. Football there, football there, football everywhere. What? How is that a flag? He landed on him after the sack. It's roughing the passer. Huh. Okay, what if he hit him high? Roughing the passer. And low? Roughing the passer. Well, what if he couldn't stop his body like a human, so he ends up trampling him, and then he's like, oh, no, and he tries to go back, and he tramples him some more, and he's like, I'm so sorry, I'm a buffalo. I don't know my strength compared to you. Wait, what? 
Come on, ref. Let the boys play. Cade Construction is a commercial general contractor proudly serving the Oklahoma City metro and beyond. Cade Construction, building better together. ER and Urgent Care is now open with two convenient locations in both South Oklahoma City and Yukon. You get the convenience of an urgent care and all the expertise of an ER under one roof, and you only pay for the level of care you need. To learn more, visit www.ouhealth.com slash one roof. In network with most major insurance providers, including Medicare and Medicaid. In Oklahoma City or the metro area, your stop for commercial and residential garage doors, garage door openers, and more. Look no further than the incredible team at A Plus Door and Gate. A Plus Door and Gate, veteran owned and operated. Okie Print Barn is a proud sponsor of Mustang Athletics. For the best in custom apparel, contact Okie Print Barn today. Okie Print Barn, your hometown screen printer located on Highway 152 in Mustang. Let's go Broncos! Sometimes when you need to move, the best thing to do is not move much at all. That's why during our moving sale at Joe Cooper Dodge and Jeep in Yukon, we've decided to sell everything so we don't have to move it. Right now, you can buy a new Ram or Jeep for 10% below employee pricing. And Joe Cooper always gives you more for your trade-in. We'd rather sell them than move them. And we'll beat any offer on a new Ram truck by $500. Or we'll give you $10,000. Who loves you, Oklahoma? Hey Bronco fans, this is Larry Andrews with 777 Roofing and Construction. We're proud supporters of the Mustang Broncos. Go Broncos! I understand that buying or selling your home isn't just a transaction, it's a journey. Because your dreams and your investments matter, I'm committed to working for you. With communication and integrity as my main priority, let me show you how I'm different. Liz Howerton Real Estate, making big moves. Right Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Bronco Soccer brought to you by Oklahoma City FC. Go to OklahomaCityFC.com where season and individual game tickets are on sale now. All home games played right here 
at the Mustang High School Soccer Complex. Once again, I'm voice of the Broncos, Ryan Booth. Excited to be with you for a big matchup here between Mustang and Putnam City West. Mustang 10-2 and two on the season, 3-1 and one in district play, in a second-place tie with Bishop McGinnis, and that's who Mustang closes out the season with. But right behind them, Putnam City West, 9-3 and three overall, 2-2 two and two in district play. So a good matchup here tonight as we begin to wind down the regular season. Mustang comes into tonight's game on a two-game winning streak. Big wins over Edmond Santa Fe, 6-1, and then they defeated the Lawton Wolverines 10-0 earlier this week. So, again, Mustang had rolled off. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wins in a row before they dropped just an absolute heartbreaker up at Edmond North. Again, Edmond North is in first place in District 6A1, 6-3 six overall, but they have a 4-0 and o mark in district play. So, again, Mustang needs this one here tonight to keep pace with Edmond North. And, again, a big matchup coming up against Bishop McGinnis to close out the regular season. After tonight's game for Mustang, it's trips to Capitol Hill and then that regular season finale at Bishop McGinnis. So just about ready to get things started. So both teams done with their warm-ups. We'll have the officials make their way out onto the field, and then we'll have the, the starting lineups announced for both teams, and we'll give those to you as they are announced as well, just to make sure there were no last-minute changes or anything that we were not informed of. But, again, Broncos Soccer brought to you by Oklahoma City FC. Our pregame show sponsor tonight was Classic Chevrolet, located at 8900 Northwest Expressway. They are the premier Chevy dealership in Oklahoma City. New name, but longtime sponsor of Bronco Athletics is Classic Chevrolet. So starting lineup for the visiting Putnam City West Patriots being introduced right now. <coughs> Again, 9-3 and three overall, 2-2 two and two in district play, but... Getting the, getting the start tonight will be number 12, Perez, 13, Buzz, 14, Martinez, 15, Lopez, 16, Garcia, and then 17, Moscaida, 18, Solis, 20, Munoz, 27, Garcia. It'll be Brandon Garcia is 27. 44, Garmajo. And then number 66 between the – will be the keeper tonight, Ivan Maldonado. So Perez, Buzz, Martinez, Lopez, Garcia, Mesqueda, Solis, Munoz, Garcia, Gramajo, and Maldonado. So in the starting 11 for Coach Homer and the guys. So defender number two, senior Jackson Clymer. Midfield defender number six, senior Ashton Mullins. Midfielder senior number seven, Jake Rother. Another senior midfielder number eight, Leo Wynn. Forward senior, number nine, Ian Padilla. Midfielder junior, number 10, Aiden Jordan. And then forward sophomore, number 10, Aiden Hale. Senior defender, number 13, Dylan Leisner. Junior defender, number 17, Mason Lake. At midfielder, sophomore, number 19, Wyatt Carber. And the man between the pipes tonight, the junior goalkeeper, number 20, Nolan Beller. So, again, the starters for Mustang will look like this. Climber, Mullins, Rother, Wynn, Padilla, Jordan, Hale, Leisner, Lake, Carber, and Beller. So, we will get things started. I think the guys are – the guys are – look like they were lined up waiting for the national anthem, but – Everybody says, nope, let's get this show on the road. We did do the national anthem to start the night, so don't want anybody to think that we're not, not being good patriotic citizens here tonight. But 
Nope, the guys ready to get this one started. We're actually a little bit behind schedule. Typically, these games kick off right at 8 o'clock, and it is 10 after 8. So, captains meeting at midfield, going over the last little bits of information from, from the officials here tonight. But, again, should be a very, very good game. Our KFOR forewarn game time forecast for the guys game. Get that brought up there for you. About 73 degrees. Temperatures dipped down just a little bit. And then as I look to, as the sun has gone down, the wind has begun to calm down a little bit. Again, now during that girls game, it was up anywhere between 15 to 20 miles an hour. And now it's dipped down right about 10 miles an hour out of the south, gusting up to about 15 at times. So again, just an absolutely beautiful night here in Mustang. I said it earlier during our girls game. This is one of those chamber of commerce type of nights. Just weather wise, again, just a packed house here at the Mustang High School soccer complex on senior night. We Honored all of our seniors in between our two games, and hopefully you were with us for game one of the night. A big 10-0 victory for the girls. Sophia C. with the hat trick. And now it is the guys' time. So both teams huddled up over on the sideline, getting the last little bits of instruction from their respective coaching staffs. And then, as tradition, they'll take the the pre-match photo, sharp-looking kits for Mustang tonight. If anybody knows me, they know I like to dress in black. I don't know, maybe it's a little Johnny Cash thing, but tonight they are the men in black, the black tops with the white trim and big white numbers, and then the black shorts and socks as well. So looks good here tonight in Mustang. Putnam City West in the white tops with the sky blue numbers. And then this time of night with the sun setting, I'm going to assume that they are the dark blue shorts in their kit. So in Putnam City West, usually navy blue, sky blue, and gold. But again, Mustang on the field waiting for... Putnam City West to get out there and get started. West will have the wind at their back here in the first half. We saw during the girls game, we saw Mustang take advantage of that a little bit with kind of some, some nice long through balls, had opportunities to get out on some runs. And again, once they were able to get that first one to go, it just kind of was a tidal wave of goals. Again, Mustang won 10 nil. Don't expect to see that kind of score here tonight either way. So it should be a, a very good matchup. The officials, as everything's set, blows the whistle, and we are underway in Bronco soccer brought to you by Oklahoma City FC. Begin to send it around. Back over to the far side. That one poked away for a second. Lake had it, but then it's knocked out. Putnam City West will quickly throw in. One skips off of, I believe that was Perez on the far side. It goes out, so it'll be a Mustang goal kick. Beller will get that one going. And over on the far side, Mustang can't control it. Goes out of bounds. I believe that was last touch by Lake. So another Putnam City throw in on the far side. And that one just cleared out way down the field. I believe that was Rother that put boot to ball right there and sent that one down deep and so West will regroup on their half of the field. That one skips away, goes way up the side of the hill. And the Patriots will set to throw in again. Thank you. 
Rother had it on the far side, tried to send it down the line, but it scoots out. So turns into just another throw in for Putnam City West. Bring it back this way. Mustang in control of it now. Climber has it. He sends it to the middle of the field. Leo has it. Now he pushes it up to Aiden Jordan. Nice through ball. Aiden Jordan, but unable to catch up with that one was Padilla. And then it's knocked out along the inline. Last touch by Mustang. So, but again, Mustang's first run at it tonight. And they had a, had a little something working. One knocked away and rebounded off of Putnam City West. So Climber will quickly get it, throw it back in. Mullins has it. And then a lot of contact from behind. So on the official whistles, and Mustang decides to just kind of play on. So again, as they still had possession of the ball, and now it works its way back. Rother with it. He's bumped off his mark, and then that shot attempt well wide, so not even really on target, on goal. For Putnam City West. Over on the far side, Rother kind of faked everybody out. Looked like he was going to try to just boot that one down the field. Give it a full windup, and then... Pulled it back. Got right by the defender. A lot of traffic over on that far side. West tries to send it in, and now Mustang has it again. Up the sideline, a little something working, but nice job to slide in and knock that one away. And win in the middle of the field. Gets it over here on the near side. Padilla with it, looks to turn. Aiden Jordan with it, kind of dekes the defender a little bit. He tried to send that one across the center, but West just jumped right in the way of that one. Mustang still with it. Ashton Mullins works it over to the far side, and then you know, West in possession. They'll send it down, and Rotha will return the favor back and forth. We go a little ping pong before the Patriots gain control. Again, that one knocked away. And Leo has it. You can even hear everyone in the crowd hollering at him as Munoz for Putnam City West tried to sneak up behind him. Nice touch back, then run down the side, but unable to catch up with that one. And it's knocked away. That one goes out of bounds. It'll be Mustang's first Oki Print Barn throw in. Of the night. Sent in, but nice job to get back and really challenge was Leisner. And again, what, what looked like was maybe going to be a good opportunity Eisner was able to get in there and cause just enough chaos that, that Beller is able to come up with the easy save. Mullins has it, tries to push it through, but it's knocked away from behind. And the Patriots will go. Nope, I was going to say the Patriots will go the other way. But nice job there on the far side. Not sure who that was. Now Leo has it. He's tripped up, no whistle, continue to play. He comes to this side, Win has it, he touches it up, giving chases, Padilla, Padilla able to get there. Centers it in, but just too far out in front of Aiden Hale. Aiden was, had a bead on it, but couldn't get to it before it passed him. 
And it rolls out over on the far side. Goal kick, Putnam City West. So, again, Mustang with a good run at it right there. Just couldn't connect. If Hale has another step or two on that ball, would definitely like, like the chances. The odds are definitely in our favor on that one. Touched back. Even Jordan with it. Again, Jordan gets it, and he is just swarmed by defenders. So that ball kind of hung up in the air, and you can see Aiden Jordan winding up was really going to try for a high degree of difficulty move right there, but couldn't get it to all come together. West has it, sends it down in. Mullins heads it up. It's taken away by West, and they'll just turn and fire, and that's the, the equivalent of a half-court heave at the buzzer in basketball. That one's just, just trying to launch it down there to see if anything, if anyone bites, anything bites, but it comes up completely empty. Headed up. Oh, man. And West doing a good job just keeping one, two defenders, just kind of kind of sinking back just enough to to take away some of those, those medium to long passing lanes. Mustang trying to push it up and through. And then, again, West does a good job. As soon as Mustang gets possession of the ball across the midline, they really – rally or swarm to the ball but able to work his way past a couple defenders they're on the far side rise and fire ball still loose bouncing around and then oh they're gonna call offside and I'm not sure about that as again the ball was touched by the keeper and then charging in to get after that one was Hale, and he was just playing the rebound off the keeper, and then Hale called for offsides. Not, not sure about that because, again, the ball had already been sent in, was rebounded off of Maldonado, and that's when Hale came charging in. And again, just a – I don't even know what to call that. I mean, just a complete throwaway for Putnam City West. Beller sends that one out. Aiden Jordan with it. Give and go, gets it right back. We're on the far side. He kind of tried to back tap that one, but there was nobody in the Bronco Black to get that one, and it goes out. Oki Print Barn throw in, quickly put back into play by Mustang. And again, whistling a foul. Yeah, Jordan's trying to get to that one. Aiden's trying to get to it, and the basically just reached out and. Hugged, apparently by a friend he hasn't seen in a long, long time. Now over to our side, Climber has it. Again, and he's tripped up as he's giving chase. So maybe a little bit of a late whistle, or they may have got him on the second one. So Leo will set it down. He'll wait for the guys to get lined up. So, again, Mustang, we've seen some, some good things happen from this, from this area, this position on the field before. Again, you put that ball up, you get a nice little run at it, send it to the back side. Man, you kind of wish somebody could have stayed here on the near side. But again, fighting for it, and that's going to be on, on Leo is – he kind of comes in and undercuts the West player. 
the official with a little bit of a admonishment of Leo. Leo says, I was just boxing him out, sir. So long free kick attempt coming up for West. They will send it in deep. And right there, like a center fielder, is Beller. Has it eyed from the get-go and just moves right underneath it and cradles it in. Climber with it. Mullins has it. And again, West a couple times has done that when our guys think maybe they've got a little more space than they do. West quickly closes the gap. A lot of times from the backside. And that's one of those where both players just kind of met right at the ball at the same time. Nice footwork there by Leo. He's trying to get that one up to AJ. And a whistle, and yeah. Rother had already gone up for that one, and I believe that's 14, Manny Martinez. It comes in and kind of Cobra Kai sweeps the leg, Johnny. Takes Jake out. So Jake sets it and is ready to go. Again, has not been, except for just a couple times tonight, not a lot of room for Mustang to operate. When they get on to West's half of the field, but here's a, a chance. Hale tries to weave that one through some defenders. Thought maybe the keeper was going to be screened out a little bit more, but Maldonado did a nice job to keep his head up and not let that one get away. Padilla to win. Padilla has it back. And Hale will send it over, and Ashton will touch it back. And this time will look to regroup and set up their attack. Rother on the far side, still with it. Sends it down, and then that one cleared out by West for an Oki Print Barn throw in. Down deep, still loose. And again, just one too many defenders for West in the line of fire. Able to knock that one out. And then Aiden Jordan comes up, steals that one away. So again, Mustang's had a couple opportunities down deep, but again, just a lot of traffic and Maldonado will come out and scoop that one up and put an end to the threat. Sitting down deep, Rother heads it right back out. And then it winds up on the foot. Nice little back kick. In and. A yeah, nice job defensively by Climber to really just kind of maintain his defensive position to stay between his guy and the goal, not to really play the ball but play the man and not give the PC West attacker a clear lane. And Mustang clears it out and now has it back. Too tight on the side, goes out, throw in West. Nice job to keep possession by Aiden Hale. I think everybody thought he had a lane to go, but he could see that, that backside defender sitting out there. And, to wait for, her. as the song says, needed a little help from his friends. Again, all just pin, pinballing around. 
in amongst a number of them. And just knocking that one out so they can regroup, reset was Leisner. A heady play by Dillon. Leisner will send that one down deep. You get a funny bounce and somebody gets on the run and gets after it, giving chase over on the far side, Aiden Hale. Padilla with it. Hale or at Mullins had it on his foot in the middle of the field. Kind of got tripped up a little bit. Knocked up. Oh, man. That one, again, a good opportunity. But played, played well defensively by West. They saw that ball and just... Just converged on it quickly and shut the door. Again, as it was in a bad spot for Putnam City West, right there in the center of the box. Possession pretty even here. And we kind of will spend a little bit of time on one end of the field. And nice job by Mullins to intercept that pass and then Able to keep possession for Mustang on the far side. Yep, keeps it inbounds. Nice job, boys. Again, West is committed to any time Mustang has the ball, they're going to send two defenders to them once the ball's on, on their half of the field and try to take away any, any room to operate. West lines up that throw in on the far side. <clears throat> and again, just sending it down deep. Beller will take a couple bounces and send it out. And the officials are going to say, nope, nope, nope. Should be going to award Putnam City West a free kick. Well, after all of that, I didn't see anything that happened. I never heard a whistle or anything. So they'll send it back out. And this one headed up. Not able to control it cleanly. Finds himself down deep in the corner. So a good look at it for West, but again, couldn't get a whole lot on it. Rolls right into the waiting arms of Nolan. So a Bronco goal saving stop brought to you by A Plus Door and Gate Services, helping Mustang close the door on the competition. Your home for residential and commercial garage doors, garage door openers, as well as power gates for your property. Sales, service, and repairs. Visit aplusdooringgate.com for information and to schedule your free estimate. Again, another opportunity for West moving down the sideline and Mustang. Really, no, no other play other than to knock it out so that reinforcements can arrive. This one sent up and in. And again, nice job by Nolan to just eye it from the start. Oh, there we go. Good job, Ian, to keep possession. So again, Beller rolled that out quickly because Putnam City West, their players and all their momentum going one way. Quick change of direction for Mustang, but it goes out back to West for a throw in. Bit of a run over here on this side. Nice job to kind of just get in the way and disrupt it. But unfortunately, it 
ricochets right to another Putnam City West player. It was Manny Martinez that wound up with it. And then Mustang could not get to it before it went out of bounds off of them. And that'll set up a corner kick here for PC West. First corner kick of the night for either team. This one's sent in, and AJ heads that one back out. West has it. Trying to flip that one up and in, but nice job by Rother to poke it away. Mullins challenges in on that one. And then a lot of contact on the side. Both the, both players sliding down to go and get it. And let's see what the official says. Yep, they're going to give the ball to Mustang, so it'll be an Oki Print Barn throw in for the Broncos and our first substitution of the night as So it's 18, 18 for nine. Dylan Clymer will check in for Ian Padilla. So Clymer for Padilla at the 1648 mark, 1648 and counting down. And a lot of, a lot of hand checking, hand fighting along the sideline. And a great job by Rother. Stand tall in there. And again, good look at it. And I believe that's 20. Brian Munoz he was able to get a lot behind that one. Again, Beller held his ground. It's like he knew right where it was going off of Munoz's foot. Handball was the call right there. And that one just kind of bounced up, just took a funny little hop and you got one of our guys just below the elbow. West wanted to just kind of, kind of continue to play on. So actually the stoppage benefits Mustang a little bit. So free kick from way outside, sent in, headed up. And once again, again, Nice save by Beller. And Mustang finally able to kind of get a little bit of breathing room. And then again, nice nice stand right there. There was a couple opportunities. And Beller, another A-plus door and gate services goal save. Oh, man, if that one just is able to sneak by off and running down the side. Was well, Climber. Yeah, Mustang's got it right there in the center, but can't control it. It'll make its way over to the far side. And then again, sent back in down deep. And then a whistle. And again, a lot of these whistles, and, and it could just be me not able to hear, but Seems like a lot of these whistles are coming coming late in the play. So, classic Chevrolet and Chevy Youth Sports. For every test drive taken out at classic Chevrolet, let them know you are a Mustang Bronco fan, and they will donate $25 back to... Mustang Athletics for every test drive taken out at Classic Chevrolet, and we appreciate their longtime sponsorship of Bronco Athletics. Again, new name, but still the premier Chevy dealer in the state of Oklahoma, Classic Chevrolet, 8900 Northwest Expressway. Nice little back tap, but again, Rother, just great job defensively. And again, to just whip around and take that one away. Climber bumped from behind. Again, sent in wide of everything, but deep down in the corner, Martinez had it. Good job by Jackson Climber to knock that one away. So it'll be a throw in for Putnam City West. 
as we near the 13-minute mark. 13 minutes left here in the first half. Still knotted up, nil-nil. Mustang on a little bit of a run. Aiden Jordan with it. Sends it up and over. Nice little back touch over to Hale. Hale sends it in. And, man, Mustang has had second, maybe third really good run Mustang has had at it. A little game of twister breaks out over there on the far side, but Mustang able to keep possession and then a whistle and a foul. So it'll be a free kick for Mustang just on their side of the midfield line. Bronco Soccer and Bronco Athletics would like to thank all of our sponsors here that allow us to bring you Bronco Soccer on MHSBroncosports.tv. Our title sponsor, as always, Oklahoma City FC. So, and at the conclusion of tonight's game, don't forget to stick around for the Southwest Cleaning Services postgame show. Injury timeouts brought to you by Jay Willis Auto Body, a full-service auto body shop in North OKC and Mustang. Visit them online at jwillisautobody.com to see how they can help you. Tried to get that one back across the center, but too many Broncos in the way. Sent in down deep. Mustang will keep it. Climber with it. As he tries to send it in, that one deflected off of Munoz. Jackson had it, and then he's hip checked away from the ball, and Perez will. And that one just pretty tough angle right there. Nice job by the Putnam City West player to be able to turn and get that one across, but it just it stays flat <clears throat> and just rolls absolutely straight across, trying to get that young man's number 27, Brandon Garcia. So, again, nice, nice run by Garcia, and then it turns into a, Corner kick. That one comes up just a little bit short. Ball still loose. Mustang able to push it out near midfield. West will send it right back in. Meisner, Dylan heads that one out. And then Mullins comes in. Nice job to knock that away. I believe it went out. Yeah. On this side of the line. So it's just a throw in for West. Less than 10 to play here in the first half. Both teams have had a couple pretty decent looks at it. Leo has it. Needs somebody to run with him. He's got to kind of hold up. They push it over. Ashton with it. Sends it right down the center. Got Was able to get it up to Aiden Hale. Mullins tried to head that one out. Now he's pushed to the turf. All alone over on the far side. Beautiful sliding save, and th but the flag goes up on the far side. So, but a great job by Climber to slide in. Great tackle to take that one away. And West whistled for the offside. Again, Mustang. Still needing to kind of clear this one out. At least regain possession and try to get some momentum going the other way. And that one, a little bit of a miss hit. Just sent up and over everything. Sails well out of bounds. It'll be an Oki Print Barn throw in for Mustang. Print 
Some substitutions in for Mustang. I can see number 22, Jerry Jones. Substitution for your Bronco, number 22, Jerry Jones. So fresh legs for Jones. Whistle and a foul, yep. AJ did a nice job there. He was tripped up, but he, oh, how should we say it? He maybe embellished it just a little bit, but is a heady, heady player out there, number 10. There, A.J. gets it, has it scoot off of him, and then he's undercut by Yahar Solis. Mullins intercepts that pass. Uh, for a minute, now we'll quickly change the directions. We'll go the other way. And that, yeah, well out in front of his teammate. And if he goes and gets that, then it's going to be a whistle on offside. So Martinez just hit the brakes. Mustang will try to work it back the other way. So the last all... Oh, Seven, eight minutes, it's really been primarily west on the attack. Mustang kind of back on their heels a little bit, having to having to play a play play defense. Again, they've had a couple little runs. Again, that one right there. Ball just takes a little bit of funny bounce. Looked like maybe the door was gonna crack open, but quickly is slammed shut. So climber. That Oki Print Barn throw in gets it, and then Jones kind of gets caught up in the turf a little bit. Nice job, Rother, right there in the center. Jones gets it back over to Jordan. Now up and over the far side of the field, and that one just a little bit too hot to handle. I believe that's Aiden Jordan on the far side that couldn't. Couldn't keep control. There's a nice attempt, but a diving save by the keeper, Maldonado. So again, Mustangs first. So Aiden Jordan with the oral surgery specialist of Oklahoma. Mustang Broncos shot on goal. So first real first real decent look at it for Mustang in quite a while. And again, they give that one up and oh. A little bit late on that call. And Ashton did get in there, but I don't. I mean, it looked like he. It's one of those where he got the ball. And the defend, and the uh, offensive player got it. And it's really just the fact that the ball didn't have anywhere to go. So all that energy goes back into the. Because it looked like Ashton had nothing but ball. This one lobbed up and in. And Beller goes up high to rob that one. Nice job, Nolan. Four minutes to play in the first half. A lot of action, but nothing to really show for it for either team. As we are still knotted up at nil. Both teams tonight, really, when that ball has gone out of bounds, they have grabbed it and for the most part, quickly gotten it bought, gotten it back right into play. So, yeah, and, yeah, guys are reminding me, same thing on the free kicks as well. The official, a lot of them, it's because the free kicks come late, <laughs> in my opinion. The whistle's been a little bit tardy. But, no, but the guys, once they realize what it is, they get the ball back, get it set, and and get right back after it, so. Again, not much wasted time at all here in this first half. Again, now is three minutes to play. A 
Again, as soon as they get the ball, West right back into play. Now they're going to send it all the way back to Maldonado. And he's going to send it down deep. Mullins controls that one for a second. And now AJ pokes that one away, tries to tries to connect with Hale, but they can't get together. Out off west, so an Oki Print Barn throw in for Mustang. You need some Mustang gear, or maybe you need some custom screen printing or embroidery. Make sure and head over to 633 East State Highway 152, right here in the heart of Mustang. Our good friends, Oki Print Barn, will get you hooked up and in a hurry. For more information, visit them online at okiprintbarn.com. Sent down, headed up. Under two minutes to play. Again, this one knocked around, but nobody there for West. Mullins tries to clear it out. Looks like Garcia got that one. And then again, challenge on the far side. The official points in the way of the Patriots. And a lot of jockeying for position over there. Finally, West comes away with it. Had it right along the inline. Trying to send it into the center, but the only one there. I believe that was Rother for Mustang to clear it out. And now, oh, man, you would have liked to have seen. There we go. Nice job, Jerry Jones, to take that one away. Jerry's almost drugged down. As falling to the floor was Munoz. And he just kind of reached up and grabbed Jones, tried to drag him down with him. And Nunez scoots ahead about 10 yards from where that ball actually went out of bounds. So 30, final 30 seconds here. And again, a lot of action here in the first half, but neither team with really anything to show for it. Really nothing to show for it. No goals on either side. And again, nice challenge by Fernando Gramajo, clock under 10. Nice job by Mullins to just throw his hind quarters in the way and knock that one down. And that is how the first half will end. 40 minutes in the book, still knotted up at nil nil. So, and again, a a lot of back and forth teams kind of controlling it for multiple minutes on each other's side of the field. And really, when you look at it, probably going to say it's pretty it's pretty even. You know, we're going to go ahead and say possession percentage really about 50-50 on there. And then five shots for Mustang. PC West has had a number of opportunities, nine total shots six of them considered on goal mustang five and three couple corners for putnam city west but mustang has defended them very well three tackles for mustang one for west and then an off sides a piece for each team and again pretty balanced through our first half match stats and we are balanced on the scoreboard still tied at nil so We'll take a break here on Senior Night in Mustang, a big-time matchup for district standings as the regular season begins to wind down. Mustang and Putnam City North tied at no goals apiece. We'll be back with all the second-half action. You're watching Bronco Soccer brought to you by Oklahoma City FC. OU Health ER and Urgent Care is now open with two convenient locations in both South Oklahoma City and Yukon. You get the convenience of an urgent care and all the expertise of an ER under one roof, and you only pay for the level of care you need. To learn more, visit www.ouhealth.com slash one roof. In network with most major insurance providers, including Medicare and Medicaid. Okie Print Barn is a proud sponsor of Mustang Athletics. 
For the best in custom apparel, contact Oki Print Barn today. Oki Print Barn, your hometown screen printer located on Highway 152 in Mustang. Let's go Broncos! Our mission here at Oral Surgery Specialists of Oklahoma is to provide exceptional care to our patients in a warm and welcoming environment. We enjoy creating an exceptional experience for our patients with belief in patient education, careful listening, and customized treatment planning. Here at Oral Surgery Specialists of Oklahoma, we uniquely offer a full scope of oral surgery and periodontal services under one roof, including dental implant placement, wisdom teeth removal, gum grafting, and jaw surgery. We love what we do here and we look forward to the opportunity to be able to care for our patients and provide exceptional oral surgery and periodontal surgery. Joe Cooper Ford has three Ford dealerships around the metro to serve Oklahoma better than anyone else. What does having three of the best Ford dealerships in the state mean for you? It means three times the selection and three times the savings. And that's three times the service. And Joe guarantees to beat any price in Oklahoma by $500 or he'll give you $10,000. That's why Joe beats the competition three to one. Who loves the Oklahoma? Discover authentic Italian cuisine at Emma L's in West OKC. Featuring freshly prepared Italian favorites. Everything made to order. Dine in or get it to go. Emma L's Italian Kitchen. Kilpatrick Turnpike and 39th Expressway. Let us do the cooking. Hey Bronco fans, this is Larry Andrews with 777 Roofing and Construction. We're proud supporters of the Mustang Broncos. Go Broncos! OKC, years in the making. The all-new classic Chevrolet Northwest Expressway is finally here. Family owned and operated. Shop new Silverados. A massive 7,500 off MSRP. From the stockyards to Bricktown, Paseo Arts to Midtown. Upgrade to a new Silverado. 7,500 off at the all-new classic Chevrolet Northwest Expressway. This is OKC. This is classic. Relax and enjoy the difference. I understand that buying or selling your home isn't just a transaction, it's a journey. Because your dreams and your investments matter, I'm committed to working for you. With communication and integrity as my main priority, let me show you how I'm different. Liz Howerton Real Estate, making big moves. Right Football there, football there, football everywhere. What? How is that a flag? He landed on him after the sack. It's roughing the passer. Huh. Okay, what if he hit him high? Roughing the passer. And low? Roughing the passer. Well, what if he couldn't stop his body like a human, so he ends up trampling him, and then he's like, oh, no, and he tries to go back, and he tramples him some more, and he's like, I'm so sorry, I'm a buffalo. I don't know my strength compared to you. Wait, what? Come on, ref! Let the boys play! Ladies and gentlemen, Cowboy Driving Academy welcomes you to another big night for the Mustang Broncos. Cowboy Driving Academy is Oklahoma's largest driving safety school. So when it's time to drive, it's time for Cowboy Driving Academy. Visit CowboyDriving.com and register online for permits and driver safety classes and testing. If you're at least 15 years old, it's time to drive. And no one gets you driving more safely than Cowboy Driving Academy. 
Oklahoma's largest and most trusted driving school. Most permit applicants can even skip the written DPS test with Cowboy because we work six months ahead of schedule. Visit CowboyDriving.com for details. Discover authentic Italian cuisine at Emma L's in West OKC. Featuring freshly prepared Italian favorites. Everything made to order. Dine in or get it to go. Emma L's Italian Kitchen. Kilpatrick Turnpike and 39th Expressway. Let us do the cooking. Our mission here at Oral Surgery Specialists of Oklahoma is to provide exceptional care to our patients in a warm and welcoming environment. We enjoy creating an exceptional experience for our patients with belief in patient education, careful listening, and customized treatment planning. Here at Oral Surgery Specialists of Oklahoma, we uniquely offer a full scope of oral surgery and periodontal services under one roof, including dental implant placement, wisdom teeth removal, gum grafting, and jaw surgery. We love what we do here and we look forward to the opportunity to be able to care for our patients and provide exceptional oral surgery and periodontal surgery. Okie Print Barn is a proud sponsor of Mustang Athletics. For the best in custom apparel, contact Okie Print Barn today. Okie Print Barn, your hometown screen printer located on Highway 152 in Mustang. Let's go Broncos! OU Health ER and Urgent Care is now open with two convenient locations in both South Oklahoma City and Yukon. You get the convenience of an urgent care and all the expertise of an ER under one roof, and you only pay for the level of care you need. To learn more, visit www.ouhealth.com slash one roof. In network with most major insurance providers, including Medicare and Medicaid. Joe Cooper Ford has three Ford dealerships around the metro to serve Oklahoma better than anyone else. What does having three of the best Ford dealerships in the state mean for you? It means three times the selection and three times the savings. And that's three times the service. And Joe guarantees to beat any price in Oklahoma by $500, or he'll give you $10,000. That's why Joe beats the competition three to one. Who loves Joe, Oklahoma? In Oklahoma City or the metro area, your stop for commercial and residential garage doors, garage door openers, and more, look no further than the incredible team at A Plus Door and Gate. A Plus Door and Gate, veteran owned and operated. Welcome back to second half action here at the Mustang High School Soccer Complex. Mustang and Putnam City North all tied up 0-0 as we get ready to start the second half of this one. And it's been a good one so far. Again, a lot of action on both sides, but neither team able to put one into the back of the net as of yet. So see what Coach Homer and the guys talked about and see what kind of changes they made during the 10-minute intermission and you know, really, I was thinking about it during the break because they play 40 minutes, and they only get 10 minutes off. By the time we go through everything and, and you know, go over stats and make sure we've got everything right and stuff, you turn around and all of a sudden it's like, oh, okay, time to go. So I think the guys, as hard as they worked in that first half, maybe deserve a little bit more time in, uh, in the locker room to rest up and, and go over anything that they uh, might need to go over, but regardless, nobody really, nobody really cares what I have to say about it. So Mustang has it to get things started. Sent in down deep, ball kind of bounces around, and then West will send it back out. So don't really see either team deciding to try to slow things down. If anything, probably going to be. Both teams maybe try to pick up the pace a little bit. So and the official I mean Rother knew knew that he fouled and he knows I mean he 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 acknowledged it and stuff and it's just and it's gonna be a free kick for West here on the outside, but 
Well, I mean, the official wanted to make sure that he knew. To make sure that he knew, that Jake knew, that we all knew that Jake fouled. So Perez sets, well, maybe Perez also setting out there with him. I believe that's 27, Garcia. Yeah, Perez is going to loop around. Garcia is going to flip this one in. That one headed right down into the ground and then cleared out nicely by Mustang. West will come away with possession, but good job by Mustang to and clear that out. And now an opportunity. We can get it down the side. Padilla able to save it there on the far side. And then has it knocked away, so it'll be Oki Print Barn at throw in for Mustang over there on the far side. He's going to get a nice long run at it, come downhill, and then send that one in. Almost kind of try to treat it like a goal kick. I think the official on the far side is saying that he came across the line or as he kind of pointed down at him. So, yep, so West is going to throw it in from basically the same point where Mustang did. Bounces around. Had it for a second, but that one slid right off the foot of Leo. So wind couldn't control it. Down deep, but Beller right there once again to gobble that one up. He quickly whips it out. Poke it up. Padilla has it. And he's bumped, bumped. They send it back. Lake with it. Now Ashton has it. Ashton tries to split some defenders. Padilla went one way. Ashton kind of went the other way, but Padilla able to catch up with it, but then can't control it. It goes out, so it'll be a goal kick for PC West. Hey, if you don't already, forgot to mention, make sure and follow at MHS Bronco Sports on X, formerly known as Twitter. Keep up with everything that is Mustang High School athletics and announcements of any live broadcasts, especially as we've only got two more scheduled broadcasts. We've got slow pitch softball, or sorry, we've got baseball Tuesday night of next week, and then slow pitch softball on Thursday night, and that will and our regular season coverage for right now. Kind of trying, we're efforting to maybe sneak at least one more baseball game in if possible. And then with the possibility of postseason action on the horizon for baseball, slow pitch softball, and Mustang Broncos soccer, um, we'll make sure and get that information out to you just as quickly as as any of those decisions are made, but be the first to know by following at MHS Broncos at MHS Broncos Sports on X. And while you're over there, if you don't mind, go ahead and hit that follow button on at MHS Broncos Voice. Again, a lot of my own thoughts on some of the things that we get to see. Again, working with and for the just the absolute best athletic department here in the state of Oklahoma, um, as well as. A lot of retweets and things of involving Mustang High School athletics and athletes and just the Mustang Athletic Department in general. So we would appreciate it if you would like both of those. Nice little opportunity here for Mustang. And that one just scoots away as Padilla pushed that one out just a little bit too far in front of everyone. Ash.
Actually, right now, while the game's going on, kind of scrolling through, trying to keep an eye on both, but looking at, yeah, just some of the absolute outstanding social media content sent out by Mustang Bronco Sports. So, again, a lot of things that we don't really get a chance to talk about or an opportunity to maybe go super in-depth with uh, that information is put out on social media as well as you know a number of our athletes with a lot of postseason recognition and uh, for their respective sports and you know they push out their own tweets and stuff as well social media a big part of it and we uh, do our best you know it's, it's almost impossible to try to for you guys to try to follow all of them so we try to push out a lot of that information as well like Tyson Pogai so made the COAC all conference team as a freshman in basketball and the COAC second team all district for his this past basketball season so big honors there for young Mr. Tyson Pogai congratulations to him as well as anytime our athletes oh nice run here by Mustang but Maldonado comes up. And snatches that one away before Mustang can do anything with it. But again, a lot of our athletes going on college recruiting visits and things like that. And when we come across those, we definitely like and retweet all of that so that you guys can know just Yeah, I mean a a just every time I turn around, we've got kids in all respective sports taking visits, you know, not just here locally, but all around the country to a number of big-time programs. So nice move right there to stay on top of the ball. Yahar Solis. And again, West with it, and that's probably going to draw a whistle. Let's see, is he going to... Nope, just going to be a regular old foul outside. But again, it's in a a spot where Putnam City West can kind of maybe try to do some things with it. <clears throat> so Mustang will be the host of the Central Oklahoma Athletic Conference, the COAC. They'll be hosting the tennis tournament, the COAC tennis tournament tomorrow up at Oklahoma City Tennis Center. So both the boys and girls teams will be in action up at Oklahoma City Tennis Center. So get out. If you're out and about and over that way, hey, head on over be a tennis fan or you can stop by and check out the COAC tennis tournament tomorrow probably going on just about all day long that one sails up and over everything so an opportunity for Putnam City West Patriots unable to cash in Mustang will push it down, and then West has, has no choice to do but to send that one up and over. And Yeah, whoever goes after that one, wait and see who it is that is going to brave going through the gate as the sun has set, and it is dark, and that one's in the cemetery. So if it was me, I'd just leave it till tomorrow. Looks like assistant coach Chad Long is going to make the journey. So, hey, somebody do me a favor. Keep an eye on the gate and make sure Coach Long makes it back. That one knocked out. Goal kick for Putnam City West. Still waiting. That one was... That one that went over the fence, though, was was booted. So it thing could have hit and rolled a long ways. So kind of a neat event yesterday, and I talked to some people that went, and they actually saw about it on Twitter. If, if you were a, oh, unable to kind of get that one to turn, And 
And then we've got a a Patriot down over in the far corner, so we'll wait and see if the official's going to stop play. And he does that, so an injury timeout. It's a Jay Willis auto body injury timeout, so we'll step aside as well. Be back with more Bronco soccer here in just a moment. OU Health ER and Urgent Care is now open with two convenient locations in both South Oklahoma City and Yukon. You get the convenience of an urgent care and all the expertise of an ER under one roof, and you only pay for the level of care you need. To learn more, visit www.ouhealth.com slash one roof. In network with most major insurance providers, including Medicare and Medicaid. Back with you after that Jay Willis Auto Body timeout, a full-service auto body shop specializing in collision, custom paint, and paintless dent repair, offering free estimates that work with your insurance and can even help with your deductible. For more information, give them a call, 405-261-6655, or visit jwillisautobody.com. And before we went to, to break, I was talking about last night here in Mustang. You know, if you've... If you're a Mustang graduate or a longtime Mustang fan, you know that you've probably heard by now the old gym is coming down to make way for some much-needed um, cafeteria expansion, classroom expansion, as well as some more updated and more usable gym facilities. But last night they had, oh, I guess for – lack of a better word, kind of a, an open house or a send-off and had an opportunity to one more time go down into the gym and walk through some of the old locker rooms. And my wife played basketball here in Mustang, played for the legendary head coach Bob Pig. And our senior year was Coach Pig's last year, and so it was kind of neat to take some trips down memory lane. Think about all the days we spent in the stands cheering on Bronco basketball and Bronco wrestling headed around a couple opportunities. Padilla with it, sends it back out. A.J. over to the side. Lake has it. Nice little back touch by Lake. Tried to get it down to Ian. Mustang still has it. So Wyatt Carber with it. Lake giving chase. And then again, West is going to come away with it. And that's, again, that's just, I'm not sure because sliding in and getting the ball first. So that's contact with the ball only. And then the Putnam City West player trips over. Was that Ashton? Was that Mullins that slid in? Great tackle if that's Ashton. And, again, all ball. And then, and then the again the the Putnam City West player trips over the Mustang player that's on the ground that had already knocked the ball away, but is whistled for the foul. So, but again, yeah, great job by Mustang School District and the athletic department to have that send off of the old MHS, the Mustang High School. Uh, Jim, so a, a neat time over, over there, there last Robert night. Brian. So again, a couple opportunities for Mustang, but not really able to do anything with it. So it's an Oki Print Barn throw in, Mustang. Gets it in down deep, but it's knocked right back out, returned right to him. Climber sent it on over to Lake. Now, this thing has it here in the center of the field again. Nice job to stay with it. Rise and fire, young man. But again, just right down the middle, Aiden Hale. Aiden Hale with that Oklahoma Oral Surgery Specialist of Oklahoma shot on goal. Again, I mean, he turned and let it fire. But just, it went right down Main Street and Maldonado 
camped out right there in the in the middle of the cage, ready and waiting on that one. Again, what I like out of that was there was no hesitation. Hale saw some room to go, and he went. And again, trying to send this one up, but just a little bit off target. Nice little touch over to Mullins. Mullins sends it in, and that one just high. And probably, I think it was actually a little bit wider than it looks from our angle. From our angle, it looked like it went right over the center of the goal. But, again, a good look at it. And, again, sitting here 0-0, zero, zero, clock continuing to run. Almost 17 minutes have ticked off here in the second half. If you've got a chance to put the ball on goal, you need to go ahead and take it. Again, nice job by Rother on the far side to challenge and be strong and take that one away. This one sent over, trying to just get enough of a touch on it. And then no call right there in the middle of the field as Aiden Hale was tripped up and taken down. We've seen less draw more here tonight. So Lake... Down on this side. Trying to turn. Mustang still with it. And then just kind of flipping that one up, seeing if maybe you can get lucky. It was Aiden Hale. I think it's going to take a little bit more than that here tonight to get past either one of these keepers on the, the outstanding defense. Mustang has done a good job. They found themselves in scramble mode. A couple times here in the last few minutes, and they have done a good job to not surrender anything and then turn it into an attack of their own. And, oh, man, if Ashton could have stayed on his feet and Mullins is down. So as he tried to go get that one, Ashton's up. He's going to try to walk it off, still kind of grabbing that. That right lower leg. The official came to check on him, but Ashton hopped up pretty quick. Couple substitutions coming in for West. I can see Coach Homer and the guys on the side looking, keeping an eye on Ashton to make sure they don't need to sub, but I think they're gonna say play on and then. So it'll be a throw in for Putnam City West. And oh, good news, I do see Coach Long back on the sidelines. So he was able to go get that that ball and, and make it back safely. Substitutions are for the Patriots, number seven, Echeverria, number 10, Troy. And again, an extremely late whistle. I, I don't have a problem calling it because there is some contact, but if you're going to call it, Call it when it happens. Here, I've, we've, I've got the replay up top here. And, again, I mean, I don't – I'm not saying that it wasn't – I mean, yeah, he gets him. But the official waits for a reaction from everybody else. And it, I think I've said it before, it's kind of like the NBA. The officials in the NBA wait to see if the shot goes in. If it goes in, no foul. If the guy misses – And then putting it up and in. Again, it's just a guessing game. And Martinez put it way up in the top shelf. And Beller kind of tried to guess. Martinez really slow played. Once he started, he barely, barely kept going. He was in, in jeopardy of actually coming to a stop. So, but yeah, Manny Martinez with the penalty kick, and that 
gives. So 18, Dylan Clymer will come in. So that gives West the 1 0 lead here with about 21 minutes. So Mustang needs to get an answer. And that one launched well over everything off the foot of Aiden Jordan. Again, if we're tied at the end of one, or at the end of the game, we'll go into a golden goal type situation with extra time, and then after all that extra time runs out, then it'll go to PKs since this is a district matchup. Those non-district games, if you're tied at the end of regulation, you just go directly to PKs. We saw... We saw Mustang win one of those earlier this season. I believe that was the game against Stillwater. On the score, it just shows a 4-3 win in overtime. But I believe it was 4-2 or 4-3 in PKs. We were tied at three at the end of regulation. So that one's sent out. It'll be an Oki Print Barn throw in for Mustang. Quickly getting over there to get it is Mason Lake. Rother has it. Sends it down. That one ricochets off of, they're going to say it goes off of Aiden Hale. On the official on the side, actually signaled Putnam City West, but I think he was overruled. By the lead official, we'll send it way over to the other side of the field, see if we can find some room to run over there. And then that one's sent in deep. Rother able to get it up to Lake. Lake quickly up the side. Nice little one touch. Can you get it across the center? Oh! Headed up by Leo. Kind of just skipped off, went the wrong way, and then that one off the backside of Aiden Jordan will go out. It'll be a goal kick coming up for West. Again, West on top, one nothing. Now after a foul was called in the box, West awarded a penalty kick. And Manny Martinez put it in. Again, West just one game behind Mustang in the district standings at two and two, nine and three overall. So, again, just one game separating these two teams. And couldn't catch up with that one. It was Mustang. So, I believe it's going to be a Putnam City West corner kick coming up. Yeah, West nine and three overall, two and two. Mustang ten and two, three and one, tied with Bishop McGinnis. Not sure if McGinnis is playing tonight. I'll try to look and see here. Again, also don't want to miss. Uh, we you know, we're getting so West getting set. That one sent in and cleared out. Nicely by Mustang. Oh, Bishop McGinnis had Lawton tonight, and they won like everybody else, really. And again, I'm not trying to say anything about the Wolverines. They just they're just struggling a little bit right now. Um, but yeah, Bishop McGinnis won that game easily. So McGinnis is actually moved to four and one and then we'll look and see try to look and see here if Edmund North played tonight Edmund North has Capitol Hill and I don't have a score that game still shows it says zero zero starting well I'm sure it probably started about eight o'clock So, again, Edmund North, Capitol Hill. So, 
McGinnis at four and one, so Mustang needs to win this one to keep pace. And West here, the last few minutes has really dominated possession. And that one, not a good attempt there in the middle. It's just a little bit, I think, it's not hurt. He's just frustrated with himself. The young man that took that shot, was that 14 again? Was that Manny Martinez? Number 22, Jerry Jones in for number 17, Mason Lake. 22 for 17, Jones in for Lake. Again, clock under 15 and a half to play. Nolan sends that one well down, and it's headed right back by West and then flipped up. So, yeah, the last four or five minutes, West has really been kind of in control. Ball goes out of bounds. It's an Oki Print Barn throw in for Mustang. Headed up, ball bouncing around. Still kind of down deep, and then finally West flips it up and out, but Mustang able to momentarily maintain possession, and it's another Oki Print Barn throw in coming up. Whistle and a foul, so a free kick coming up for Mustang just here on this side of midfield. And Jones has it. We'll send it back, Rother with it. Leisner down the far side. And then knocked out. By West, an Oki Print Barn throw in once again for Mustang. DJ with it. This one's sent in down deep. Headed up and around. Ball's bouncing around. Mustang's going to come away with it. And then oh, just couldn't quite get enough on it to get it back out to Jones. But Mustang will have it as West just pushes it back out. So Mullins with it. Send it back to... Hey, Jake Rother, see if Jake can find an angle. Rother and Hale back and forth. And again, Mustang just trying to find a seam, somewhere to go with it. Now we've got a little run on the far side. And bounces off a defender. And Rother's going to have it, and then he loses it a little bit. Hale's got to hold up so he doesn't get called for anything. And giving chase. Rother has it, then loses it, but able to get back. Nice job to mark his man and get back in front of him. And then it's knocked away, kicked out by West. Beller will give chase. That'll give me an opportunity to remind you our next broadcast here on MHS Broncosports.tv will be baseball. They're against Southmore. That'll be Monday, April 15th, 5 p.m. Mustang 16 and 10 on the season, taking on the Southmore Sabercats 10 and 13. So be right back with you Monday evening over at the Bronco baseball fields. Looking forward to that one. for sure and then after that in our final scheduled broadcast of the season will be Thursday April 18th 5 p.m. slow pitch softball versus Washington two really good teams Mustang ranked at 25 and 3 oh down low fighting for it and then really handsy down low shoved off his mark Aiden Hale was going for it and then that's the NFL. That's pass interference for sure. But no, yeah, Mustang 25 and 3, ranked fourth in class 6A. We'll be taking on the Washington Warriors 24 and 6. 
number three in class 5A when it comes to slow pitch softball. So two of the top teams in the state going at it. And we'll have it for you live. Nice job to keep it in bounds on the far side. Sent in, headed up and in. Put it in the back of the net and put it on the board. Goal, Broncos. Great job to not give up on the goal or on the ball down on the on the far side of the field. And then Dylan Clymer puts it in the back of the net. But man, I'm telling you right now. I think that was two Jackson Clymer on the far side of the field that kept that ball in bounds and then sent it across beautifully. So again, I think, is that a climber to climber connection? Looking, I mean, it was sent in and just off the side of his head. Yeah, 18 with the goal, Dylan Climber, and I'm 99.9% .9 sure that on the far side, that was Jackson Climber that again kept that one in play and just, I mean, worked his tail end off to keep that one in play to give Mustang a chance. And again, nice opportunity for Mustang to attack, but that one scoots past. So we are knotted up at one off the beautiful climber header. And about, with about 10 and a half left to play. And Mustangs actually had some better looks at it. That was a, a, a tough one to go. But Clymer, again, does a great job to just redirect it off the side of his head and into the back of the net. So Jerry Jones, nice challenge on the side. Knocked out. And then we're going to have a stoppage for just a moment as there's going to be a substitution. And so, again, a great goal by Climber right there. I would highly recommend that you rewind that and watch it a couple times like we did. Again, a whistle and... A lot of contact on the sideline. Things getting a little. And then again, a, a late whistle as the ball's rolled out. The guys are coming back in, and the official, it's like, I don't know, I think it's kind of funny. It's almost like the official is assuming that, that the players know that there was a foul, and he's kind of waiting for them, and then he's like, guys, no, there's a foul right there. So again, because I think Mustang thought it was going to be a, a goal kick opportunity for them. But the official changes it to a free kick, and it's in a position where West can treat it just like a corner kick. They're going to lob it up way off the mark right there. I, it's one of those where I wish we had some sound effects. We had the wah, wah, wah. Everybody gave me the thumbs up. They said, hey, we don't need sound effects. We got your big mouth. <laughs> so, again, an opportunity for West, unable to capitalize. Yeah, is that one, I don't know if it was a little bit of a miss hit or, I mean, because it just, it came off hot. So it flipped up. And, again, that one it comes slides off the side of the foot of Richie Buzz. Oki print barn throw in for Mustang as that one came off Buzz's foot and then just made a hard right turn towards the sidelines. So new life here in the stadium as Mustang has tied it up at one apiece. Another opportunity sends it in. And that one and then giving chase. And I again I say it every time. I'm the biggest Mustang homer you'll find. Born and raised. Graduated from here. All three kids went to school here. My wife and I have graduated together and been here our whole lives. And that's, I mean, just. Tripped over his own feet. 
Who was that that was giving chase? Because he's he's three or four feet away from him as he goes down. Good gracious. Is that 11? It wasn't Aiden Hale, was it? No. That's, was it? But, yeah, I mean, I just the kid just tripped himself up. So again. So A.J. with it. Now he's going to send it over. Now an opportunity for West. So you can hear half the crowd screaming for a handball, the other half the crowd screaming for a foul. Nice job by Jones to stop that one. That one crossed through. And a stoppage, and Rother is gonna be issued a yellow card. Again, that is Mullins comes over and asks for an explanation. And, again, I can hear the guys up top here watching the replay, and I think that one was just about as – yeah, that's – there has been way less or way more that has drawn less than that here, not just tonight, but since soccer has been played. So, again, we were right here just a few minutes ago, and this is where West, again, just sent it well up and over everything. Again, same thing, trying to go to that back post and or towards that back post, and it just bends hard to the right. And it's even – I mean, the wind has died down again as it's gotten later, but um, – the wind's even kind of pushing it back out into the field of play. So, again, you know, Mustang gets out of that one without giving anything up other than the the yellow to Rother. That one hit a mile up. Nice control. Mullins goes up for that one. Finds two hands in the small of his back. And then in the ensuing scramble for the ball, whistle and a foul. So Mustang quickly gets it back into action. And then that one knocked wildly out of bounds. So goal kick. So three out, Brody Marshall out, who had come in for Rother. Rother back in. So Rother served his penance on the side for the yellow card, and now he is quickly back into the game. So Rother played outstanding defensively here tonight. There it is, and the keeper able to get a hand on it. Great cross by Aiden Hale, trying to get it up and over to this side and it should be a corner kick as that went off the keeper's hands up onto the top of the net but yeah Hale trying to get that one across I believe that was Carver on the back side here for it so an OU health ER and urgent care corner kick sent in headed up rebounds around and again another hard shot It'll stay down here, and then West finally able to clear it out. But you really like the execution for Mustang on those corners tonight. And again, tipped up, headed back, control it. Padilla has it, is knocked away. And then it goes out wide, and West will bring it up and now they look to try to attack it sneaks in down the back side they cross it 
Nice job by Rother. Rother just takes that one right in the chest. Stands there like Superman. I mean, he didn't even flinch, and that ball was drilled right off the seven on his chest. So, again, just played outstanding defense tonight. And then the official... The official stops the clock to go back and check on the West player who was just lingering down in the box. He would have kind of liked for West to put that one in play and send it down because he was he was half a mile off sides. One <laughs> headed back out, so down to about two minutes to play. Padilla has it, flips it up, giving chase, and again. Okay, it's just a, one of those situations where you'd like Aiden to have just a little bit more time to let that ball settle for him to maybe kind of catch that one and get a better a better strike on it. But he, I mean, he can't wait because he has got two Patriots breathing right down his neck. So you just got to take this, take what you can get. And he had a good look at it. Again, back and forth we go. Headed up, headed up and over. And there we've got it. It's taken away in the middle of the field. And then Beller will scoop that one up as we're down to 110 to play in the game, all tied up at one. These teams would like to end it in regulation. And again, that one sent well up and out of play. So it'll be an Oki Print Barn throw in. Under a minute to go in regulation. Mustang quickly gets it back in. So, you know, they're just going to start launching everything down deep and see if they can get something funky to happen. Seconds continue to tick off. PC West with it on the far sideline. And again, that one sent wildly in, up and over. So Beller will quickly give chase under 30 seconds now. On the clock, on the big board. Nolan will roll it out. Put everything he's got into it. Gets it up. Mullins heads it back over across midfield. Under 10 seconds. Hit it up. Mullins a little bit of a miss hit. And his shot is deflected high and up and out of bounds. And I believe we have about a five-minute break, and then we will go to go to a possibility of two 10-minute overtime periods. It's a golden goal situation, so... They'll play 10. If nobody scored, they'll play 10 more. And then after that is we will go to PKs. So we'll take a quick timeout, let everybody kind of catch their breath, refill their waters, and, again, get right back to it. Buckle up. It should be an intense overtime period. Tied one apiece at the end of regulation. Mustang and Putnam City West. OKC, years in the making. The all-new classic Chevrolet Northwest Expressway is finally here. Family owned and operated. Shop new Silverados. A massive 7,500 off MSRP. From the stockyards to Bricktown, Paseo Arts to Midtown. Upgrade to a new Silverado. 7,500 off at the all-new classic Chevrolet Northwest Expressway. This is OKC. This is classic. Relax and enjoy the difference. I understand that buying or selling your home isn't just a transaction, it's a journey. Because your dreams and your investments matter, I'm committed to working for you. With communication and integrity as my main priority, let me show you how I'm different. Liz Howerton Real Estate, making big moves.
Football there. Football there. Football everywhere! What? How is that a flag? He landed on him after the sack. That's roughing the passer. Huh. Okay, what if he hit him high? Roughing the passer. And low? Roughing the passer. Well, what if he couldn't stop his body like a human, so he ends up trampling him, and then he's like, oh, no, and he tries to go back, and he tramples him some more, and he's like, I'm so sorry, I'm a buffalo. I don't know my strength compared to you. Wait, what? Come on, ref! Let the boys play! Ladies and gentlemen, Cowboy Driving Academy welcomes you to another big night for the Mustang Broncos. Cowboy Driving Academy is Oklahoma's largest driving safety school. So when it's time to drive, it's time for Cowboy Driving Academy. Visit CowboyDriving.com and register online for permits and driver safety classes and testing. If you're at least 15 years old, it's time to drive. And no one gets you driving more safely than Cowboy Driving Academy. Oklahoma's largest and most trusted driving school. Most permit applicants can even skip the written DPS test with Cowboy because we work six months ahead of schedule. Visit CowboyDriving.com for details. Discover authentic Italian cuisine at Emma L's in West OKC. Featuring freshly prepared Italian favorites. Everything made to order. Dine in or get it to go. Emma L's Italian Kitchen. Kilpatrick Turnpike and 39th Expressway. Let us do the cooking. Our mission here at Oral Surgery Specialists of Oklahoma is to provide exceptional care to our patients in a warm and welcoming environment. We enjoy creating an exceptional experience for our patients with belief in patient education, careful listening, and customized treatment planning. Here at Oral Surgery Specialists of Oklahoma, we uniquely offer a full scope of oral surgery and periodontal services under one roof, including dental implant placement, wisdom teeth removal, gum grafting, and jaw surgery. We love what we do here and we look forward to the opportunity to be able to care for our patients and provide exceptional oral surgery and periodontal surgery. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen as we get ready to start the first of possibly two 10 minute overtime periods. We'll play 10 minutes. If nobody has scored in that 10 minutes, we'll take another quick little break. Another 10 minute period. And if nobody scores in that one, then we will go to PKs. So two on the board right now, two 10-minute overtime periods followed by PKs. It is a golden goal situation. So first team to score, whether it's within the first 30 seconds or the very last second of the period, the game is over. So that's how district overtime rules work. So. Mustang going into the wind here in this overtime period. And again, the wind really not much of a factor at all as it has really died down. And then that's going to be a whistle and a foul and kind of kind of surprising that there's no no red card or no yellow card issued on that one. So we'll just we'll stay with it. I actually had had some people from the crowd kind of standing up and and uh, trying to get our attention up here. I think somebody's lost a phone. So hey, if you're watching at home and you've lost your phone, apparently we have it here. <laughs> we have it here at the soccer field. <laughs> so free kick was taken by Mustang after the after the foul. West has it, looking to move. And nobody home as he tried to back tap that. Rother again picks that picks that one off there in the middle of the field. Now he has it back and forth, so sends it down. Tried to again thread the needle. Aiden Hale come or Aiden Jordan comes up with it, sends it down over in the side. So, just, and then it's knocked out. So it'll be goal kick coming up for Putnam City West. Put your phone up there in the press box. If anybody's missing their phone, you can come up here and describe it to us. Is there anything in your phone? So 
That one sent down. And again, a whistle. Well, really, again, I didn't hear a whistle, but foul called. So free kick coming up for West just across midfield. Sent in down deep. And again, right back there waiting to, to draw that one in, Nolan Beller. So Nolan played extremely well between the pipes tonight. Nolan sends it down. AJ has it, giving chase. It's Padilla. The official says play on. Again, Padilla has it right in the middle, trying to get it. Mustang tracks it down. Then has it poked away, and Mullins with it on his charge. It's knocked away. And now off and running is West. Again, great job by Rother to force him to give it up. They go back down. Center it, but the flag goes up. Offsides is the call. So I will admit, sometimes I get too busy watching all the action right there in front of the box and don't keep my eye on the official on the far side. But, yeah, he he had that flag up pretty quick. Jake sends it down, headed back out. But Leo with it. Over to Ian. Ian trying to turn the corner and has it poked away. It'll be an Oakey Print Barn throw in. In about four minutes of the first overtime period has ticked off the clock. Aiden Jordan had it. He was grabbed from behind and then a swing and a miss, unfortunately, by Jackson Climber. So it goes out. Patriots will throw it in. And then yeah, West threw it in. It danced right along the sideline and then took kind of a funny hop and went out. Nobody touched the ball. And the official here on the sideline signals that it's still Putnam City West ball, even though they threw it in and threw it directly out of bounds. And then Clymer knocks that one out. So, again, West will throw it in. For the third time. Halfway through this first overtime period. Ball sent up. It sails over the head of everybody. And it goes out. So it'll be a goal kick coming up for Mustang. Nolan does a great job to keep that one down. And send it deep. Oh, one intercepted, picked off. And giving chase here on the far side. Martinez has it. Martinez, the goal scorer for excellent tackle. Nice defensive play by Aiden Jordan. And then Padilla comes from Padilla comes from Waterburger to try to race in and steal that one. Kid came from as far, just about as far away as you could be on the field from it. And then finally, whistle and a foul, so we'll bring the ball back. AJ was on the run, and the guy just kind of reached up and grabbed him from behind. And a little bit of a miss hit right there. That one bends away from everybody except Putnam City West defender, and they'll just send it in deep. Mustang, not their best job just to clear that one out. And again, there's a case of Climber knocking the ball away. But the West player just kind of taking a dive over his legs. And so a whistle and a foul. 
It's going to give them, give West another free kick opportunity that they can go for us. They've got a set piece for sure. Lob it up. And Nolan quickly goes and gets it. So uh, an A-plus door and gate services goal-saving stop. Nolan Beller, an A-plus door and gate, closing the door on the competition. And then from behind, Hayden Jordan is wrestled to the ground. So just a, a regular foul, no card issued, surprisingly, or that it wasn't. Thrown in, headed up, put it in the back of the net and put it on the board. No flag, Gold Broncos, Mustang wins. A beautiful lob in and then did not see who it was off the head of. So the the iPad where we keep replays, it is it's down. And again, but you know what? It really doesn't matter. All that matters is that it is goal Broncos. Jake Rother. The man that has played incredible defense all night tonight is able to get from one end of the field, and Rother puts it up and in the back of the net. Mustang in the first overtime period wins two to one. What an incredible finish to that one here tonight. Again, it looked like Mustang, I think it was maybe Ashton Mullins, just kind of, again, just threw it down towards the net, sent it in deep, trying to see if something good could happen, and sure enough it did. Jake Rother with the game-winning goal puts it in the back of the net, and Mustang comes away with the 2-1 win, moves to 11-3 and overall, 4-1 and in district play, to keep pace with Bishop McGinnis and Edmund North. Bishop McGinnis won big tonight over Lawton, and Edmund North was taking on Capitol Hill. We don't have a score from that game. Putnam City West falls to 9-4, and 2-3 and three in district play. So here on senior night, both the guys and the girls get big wins, and there you see Manny Ramirez the PK goal for Putnam City West at the 21 minute mark of the first half. And then Mustangs goals, both of them coming here late in the second half and then in overtime, obviously the last one, but Clymer with the goal at right, with right about 11 minutes left in the game. Dylan Clymer, and it was Jackson Clymer that just made an incredible just hustle play down the far sideline to keep that ball in bounds and then send it in on the nice cross and Dylan headed it in and then Jake Rother with one minute left in the first overtime period on a great just kind of lob in again I believe it was Ashton Mullins and then Rother heads it in for the win and there's the final stats and again we, we say it most of the time you look down and pretty even going down those two columns and it was an even game here 50-50 on possession percentage, 13 shots to 12 in favor of Mustang. On target, 10 to 9. Again, West had an opportunity, had two more opportunities from the corners, three and one right there. Seven tackles to five, and then West whistled for two offsides to Mustang's one. So, again, pretty even statistically and, and on the scoreboard, pretty even, but Fortunately, for it's it leans slightly in the favor of Mustang. Hey, it only takes one more than your opponent, and that's exactly what Mustang's got. A big two to one win here tonight. So again, Mustang wins both of them. The girls win in a shortened game, ten nothing, over Putnam City West, 
And then the boys on senior night win an absolute thriller over an extremely good Putnam City West team. You look at it, the fact that PC West has three losses is kind of surprising until you look, you know, the teams that they lost to, Edmund North, who sits atop the district. And then this one here against Mustang. So, and then I'm looking for their other district loss. I believe it's, oh, Edmund Memorial. So, but regardless of, regardless of who it is, so they've got three district losses now, and Mustang keeps pace with those guys at the top of the district standing. So this is the Southwest Cleaning Services postgame show. My apologies for not mentioning that earlier. But you can contact the outstanding people over at Southwest Cleaning Services and see how they can help you and your business with all your janitorial and commercial cleaning needs. You can find them online at southwestcleaningservices.net or, hey, just get in touch with them the old-fashioned way. Give them a call, 405-314-1977. So, well, hey, it was a good night here at the Broncos Soccer Complex. Again, Mustang wins both of them. The girls big time, 10 nothing. I guess I guess you call it a run rule type situation. And then the guys, it does not get any more dramatic than that. So congratulations to Broncos Soccer on going 2-0 here tonight. And like I said, don't forget, we'll be back with you live on MHS Broncosports.tv. Monday night, April 15th, we'll be right next door. Coach Patterson and the guys over at the baseball complex taking on Southmore. First pitch scheduled for 5 o'clock, and we'll have all the action for you live here on MHS Broncosports.tv. So, hey, it's been a great night here, but it's always a great night to be a Bronco. We appreciate you joining us here on MHS Broncosports.tv. Hope you enjoyed our coverage, and we look forward to seeing you Monday night, baseball versus Southmore. So until then, have a great rest of your night, a blessed tomorrow, and as always, go Broncos.